Um, welcome everyone to the third episode of our Gacha Gaming podcast, Max Pity. I'm Kiri and I'm joined by my lovely co-host Ufi and some awesome guests today. And we got plenty to talk about Star Rail updates and Wuthering Waves coming out this month. Uh, we also have a section where we're going to be talking about some pretty serious topics with uh, Gacha Gaming. So make sure you uh, stay sticking around for that later. Um, if we want to, let's go ahead and give everyone a chance to introduce themselves. I think everyone probably already knows everyone, but um, yeah, Ufi, go ahead and start us off. Oh, I did it again where <laughs> I kept Discord muted. <laughs> this happens every episode. Oh, I, I let people start introducing themselves and they're muted. Okay, all right, round two. Oh no, now I can't hear her. I'm just kidding. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, what Hi, did I, I do? Uh, I play all the all the Hoyo games, uh, especially Honkai Impact 3rd. And yeah, I'm here every episode. So that was, that was good. <laughs> um, Fob, if you want to introduce yourself. Uh, hi, I'm a uh, Fob Master. I play gotcha games and spend money irresponsibly. <laughs> We're going to talk about that later. <laughs> <laughs> Foki. Hi, I'm I'm Mr. Foki. I play Gacha games and I'm currently doing my summerthon and I think I spend responsibly, I think, but uh, yeah. Perhaps. Perhaps we will see. But I'll yeah. Listen. Any any spending is irresponsible on Gacha uh, Gacha games. That's True. the message I like to hear. <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah we're about to get 2.2 in star rail next week uh are you guys excited for it um i i'm excited for the banner <laughs> obviously Personally, i'm not ready i need i need more time i need more time for more polls yeah i can't I'm wait for 2.2 just so it ends so we can get 2.3 what what do you mean by that bro i want jade Oh, oh no! True. Oh no! We, we you can't. don't want Robin. I mean, I do, but like, okay. So this is like one of I think the downsides of the creator experience server. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm already bored of. I like. I I I literally want to. As soon as I get Robin, I'm gonna play her alt like once and then mute her. Like, I, <laughs> recording the footage, I'm like, nah, I'm done with her alt already. Oh no! <laughs> the singing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I I looked that. I had to look that up today because I didn't know that it actually did play the whole time i was like that's crazy i don't know about that okay that i didn't know that because i have been kind of not paying attention so uh that's crazy are you gonna Yo. pull for a pokey yeah yeah absolutely but yeah. um I, I think like like same as fob I, i'm looking forward to 2.3 and we wanted 2.2 especially because there is the um the new end game mode coming out the uh, apocalypse shadows yeah, yeah I've, i'm really looking forward to it yeah but 2.2 is like not much just banners and then just chilling so yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I, what I, is the the next Trailblaze story? That's two point three, right? Like the end. I'm assuming. Mm, I think so. I, I have I no clue. Finish. I don't really I, know. I, yeah, I, I don't I, know. maybe maybe they'll wrap up Pelcony. I don't know. Yeah. I think they kind of mentioned at some point that it's supposed to like wrap up in two point three. I think I've heard that. Yeah, rumor, I couldn't that rumor remember if it was around, like so. two point two or two point three that they were like wrapping everything up but yeah I, it probably is 2.3 mm. are you guys gonna but... pull on boot hill like we're skipping yes. yeah. we're, we're just like are skipping yeah. these banners but dude i'm excited for him like <laughs> oh, i pull i pull every banner so. you pull every banner <laughs> yeah i'm yeah, kind of excited I'm for him ready free to play i have the battle pass and the monthly pass but that's about it and wait, wait, wait. I... there's no such thing as pretty free to play you're, you're either, either free, free to, to play, play or you're or not, you're not. <laughs> yeah <laughs> So I don't, I play. don't ever, I don't ever top up, but, um, I wasn't sure if I was going to pull for Robin. Like at first I was like really dead set on like not pulling for her because I really want Boot Hill and Sam and Jade and I already oh, have right. Ron May, but after like uh, seeing all the videos and all this stuff, I'm like, I might need her. So nah, I don't you don't. Know. You have you Ron don't. May. Yeah, if you yeah. have Ron May, I don't think you need her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I he forgot about so Sam, good though. with the follow-up team. Oh, do you play follow-up teams? <gasps> I have one. One nah, follow-up nah, you team. don't need her. Oh, yeah. wait. You, oh, I thought you meant you have one unit. No, wait, no, I have uh, Topaz, Ratio, and then I use 
uh, Aventurine and Ron May. The Topaz oh, Ratio yeah. team yeah. is really good with her, I think. Yes, very good. So potentially, I am personally attempting for the first time ever to skip a character because I'm trying to just like stop spending so much money <laughs> on this fucking game. <laughs> yeah, same. So, I did my taxes and I was like, oh, something's God. got some, something's got to stop. Yeah, that tax season was kind of killer. <laughs> We'll see. Um, so we just we are actually just passing the first anniversary of Star Rail. It's been a crazy year. Are you guys still enjoying the game like a year later and, and happy with everything we're getting? Nope, I hate the game. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> no. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> now I only play because uh, it pays. No, uh, it's, it's not fun. You're not allowed to say that. Oh my god! Okay. You're not allowed that to is. say it. Oh, uh, no. I'm just. Uh, I, I will say like uh, I, I'm looking forward to more characters like Akron. Like, cause I did play. Like, mm -hmm. okay. I, I mean, obviously, everybody that does know me is gonna be like, call me like a fake Honkai Impact enjoyer. <laughs> but I, I did play it like since release for a while. Mm -hmm. So like, characters like Akron are pretty cool to come around. But yeah, uh, we'll see what they're cooking up. You know, I'm I'm waiting for some more hot characters. <laughs> Akron was pretty badass. I will admit. At first, I was kind of like, I don't know about her. But then everything they did with her, I was like, all right, all right, goddamn it, she's really cool. Yeah, they get me every time. I always go into it thinking like, okay, I'm not really, I don't know about this character. And then like they release it, and I'm like, fuck, I hate this game. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, then I, I Pokey mentioned the new upcoming game mode, Apocalyptic Shadow. I I am glad they keep adding new stuff like that. So I'm excited what to exactly see what it's like. Is it? Because I haven't really looked into. The, I don't. I'm not really great that great at the meta. So. I don't really look into the in-game kind of stuff, but I don't even know what it is. I think they haven't reviewed like exactly what it is. It just says it's like a new way to fight like the boss modes. I'm mm -hmm. thinking it's probably gonna be the reuse of the Echoes of War bosses, like yeah. Doomsday yeah. Beast. I, I think they're gonna because it, it's it's so wasted if they just did it for one mode and just fight three times a week. So I think yeah. they're gonna use that for the new mode, and then probably gonna be something along those those lines. Yeah, I think it's yeah. like pure fiction for Hunt. Yeah, that's what it seems mm. like. Because it was just the right. little dev post, right? That they showed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They... Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. They just I, mentioned like, uh, Maybe it's a hot take, but I, I don't think it's that hot, hot take. <laughs> but it's like, I, I, I know HSR players love that they keep adding endgame, but it's like, I, I, I talked about this on my own stream, I think yesterday. And it's like, I don't think they add it for the, t for the community. They're like, they're at so Mihoyo's favorite strat with mm -hmm. I mean a lot of gacha games do it is they create the problem and sell the solution. <laughs> so they did they create pure fiction. It's like, oh, we'll sell AoE characters, they'll mm. they'll want it. And then they do this new mode. It's like, oh, we'll sell more hunt characters, they'll want it. So it's like the HSR community is like, oh my god, they're so they love us. They keep giving us endgame, but secretly they're just giving us more FOMO to mm -hmm. want to swipe for. Yeah, you know, that's a good point. I've yeah, never really yeah. thought about it that way. Oh shit! It's just extra and the power. Entire community creep. falls. For Am I it. just a consumer? <laughs> yes. Damn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you play gacha? <laughs> oh no! They don't actually love me. They just want my money. Yeah. Yep. Oh my god! I can't believe so this. So true. So true. Yeah, because yeah, that was one thing. That's like the whole reason why I like have such a problem with building characters and stuff is because I do have FOMO, and I am like, I want to be able to clear this. But I have to use this character, this character, this character. They're not built. So I'm like spending all my time and all my trailblaze power on like four whole characters. And it's, I have just, I have nothing. I mean, it's definitely better than Genshin. Like, in terms of like, this is why, this is why, like, even though I say that, I, I still think it's a good thing because in HSR, like, you feel like, you feel like there's still a reason to pull. In Genshin, after like three and a half years, like legitimately, if you've been playing since day one, and if you're like, you know, not absolutely casual, um, you can put a blindfold on and just toss Jiangling onto a team and press EQ, swap, EQ, swap, EQ, swap, and then take your blindfold off and everything's dead, so. <laughs> True. I never yeah. played Genshin, so I, I don't even know how, oh, okay. how it all goes. I haven't played in so long. I think I played like the very first Fontaine Archon Quest, and then I was just like, no, 
That's Sorry, it. We're over I'm here. Be, we're over here being sane gamers. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean the end games like, like that. Is it that Ab Abyss Tower is mm. the big thing for Genshin? So That's yeah, it. I guess if you have your teams, then. I think I no, feel it's like... literally just memory of chaos. Oh, memory, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, okay. And that's it, just floor 12. I feel like week. it's that way for a lot of these games. It's like once you have like the best teams, it's just whatever. Yeah, but people still get caught in FOMO, like me. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, I, and that is kind of why I do like Star Rail. Like, it's like a hate love thing with it because the, <laughs> the power creep does suck, but at the same time. It's refreshing because you have to play completely differently, like in two weeks. So I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it, honestly. Have you guys been avoiding social media since literally everything's on fire <laughs> all the time? No. Yeah, my Twitter. Are, are you guys gonna talk about it? I, I don't know. Gonna... I'm nervous to talk about anything that has I'll to do with social it. media. <laughs> I. I'm. No, I was having pretty like out of it because like. I feel that like um this whole like LGBT thing, I'm not very familiar with this from yeah. where I'm from. So like I'm just like watching and just see everything just blow up from this it's, whole insane it, thing. It's worth so, nothing. Yeah. There is yeah. no there's nothing. There's no I open stuff it, in it. I look at it and then I'm like, nah, I'm good. I'm gonna I'm gonna peace it's out. It's just Let's children listen. basically it's it's Pokey too much. needs to stop being neutral stop, stop <laughs> have being a take have say a take something every now On and the then my, <laughs> and so my thing is that i don't know this enough to have a take so that's my take that is <laughs> that's fair that's fair i don't really that's like yeah. talking about spicier things. saying um, something without knowing it. no don't, don't do that no i um <laughs> Dude, I get too much anxiety with all that stuff. So like, I just try to stay in my corner, honestly. Yeah, I'm. I am not. I, I'm I not cut out for the spicy it, takes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I. I don't. I don't mind as long as I. If I know I'm right, then I will say it. Oofy was over here trolling <laughs> a sparkle. I don't know if you guys saw that, but she was over here causing mayhem and sparkle. I yeah, love yeah, that sparkle. <laughs> It's, it's insane so... sparkle cosplay. Is that just such a great sparkle cosplay? I love, I love her so much. It was she's so my favorite. She's my favorite right now, and I don't even have her in game. What? I try. Wait. I tried. Girl, what? Uh, I tried, and I lost. I did, and I lost the 50-50 no. to... Whenever someone tells me Welt. they tried, I always ask him how many meals do you eat a day? <laughs> <laughs> one meal a day! <laughs> you only eat one meal a day? I do! Oh, fuck. All right, you're you're um, just gonna okay. kill me, starve me. Um, <laughs> you drive I would. a car. Actually, I would. <laughs> you should. You had do to you just sell your car? soul for Sparkle. <laughs> yes, because I do. I do have a job, so I do go to work. So I do. Sell okay. it and buy Sparkle. <laughs> sell it, get a bike, and buy Sparkle. <laughs> I have a bike. I don't. I wouldn't even need to sell buy a the bike. bike sell get the house. Get a skateboard. Sell everything and... for Sparkle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> sell all those plushies back there and get Sparkle. I'll sell that one. Yeah, yeah, sell that one. Wait, how do you get the Zenless plushie? Yeah. Uh, it yeah, came yeah, with yeah. one of my cosplays. Oh, oh yeah, my, so I, I have a Nicole cosplay that I never do. because. Oh, my God. Okay. I've never seen like, a Zenlo, Zenless merch yet. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it came with a reasons. cosplay. <laughs> okay, okay. Are you guys going to play Zenless? When I, I think they got like a release date in what, July? Oh July, shit! Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, third. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I, all my attention is like on on watering now. It's like it's like I think it's less than around two weeks, eighteen days, seventeen days, and then it's coming out. I'm like just gonna go for yep. it, and then when Zenus comes out, then just see how it goes. Yeah, I'm yeah. not sure how I feel about it yet. I did like one of the betas, but bro, yeah, I was kind of on edge about it. Yeah, it's uh, we'll see, we'll see. I mean, part of me feels like the Hoyo community is like. Just has like the whole Hoyo schlong in their mouth and will play anything <laughs> that Hoyoverse makes, but <laughs> that's so true. But you know, uh, we'll see, we'll see. Well, you're you're getting you're getting people riled up here. <laughs> yeah, because honestly, at this point, I think Weathering Waves will probably do better than Zenless. Uh, and Dude, I, I don't is, know. The freaking gotcha screen sucks balls. Like I think like, a lot of not, people it is not will exciting. play on launch. Like I think a lot of people will play Zenless on launch, but I don't think they're gonna keep up with it at all. Actually, I, I think the opposite will happen. I think watering will generate a lot of hype, but I feel that it might die out because mm -hmm. it's kind of grindy. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then Zenless is is gonna maybe might not be as high, but because it's a Hoyo game, people are just gonna play it anyways. Oh, for sure. Exactly. Yeah. I, I That's think. true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are parts yeah. of it. It also recruit, has like but... a lot of story because I'm I'm in the beta right now and I'm like I've been trying to play like every day and I'm still not even through chapter one. So I'm like Zenless. You gotta keep grinding. Yeah. The what? Wait, what is mm-hmm. Zenless chapter one? Wait, what is it? It you just Where are you at now? It's like a bunch of just like jobs essentially. Like it's mm. it's pretty it doesn't have very much deep lore other than the government bad. Right. What what's your level in, in the in the beta? Thirty, I think. I haven't okay, okay. I haven't unlocked the discs yet, so yeah. Haven't even gotten okay, to okay. like the hard part. It's time to play more because <laughs> Yes, and I and I feel like I am playing so much, and I'm like, oh my god, what do I need to do? Where does it where does it get good? But, but you can I mean, just keep good, grinding, right? But... Because like, you they, they remove the stamina cost for a lot of stuff. So you can yeah. just keep going and going if you if you mm-hmm. want to go for it, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. you just you hit a wall at around uh, thirty four or something, and then you kind of have to wait for stamina. It's cringe. Oh, okay. Still, uh, wait, why thirty four? Yeah. Uh, they like I th- maybe it's just a beta, but like at a certain point, you s- like the basically there's quest level requirements and oh yeah. Okay. yeah, I have noticed to I like see. continue the story. They want you to raise your level. Like, uh, I mean that's how all the games do, but Mm-mm-mm. yeah, but that's pretty well, easy, I think. I I don't know. I'm gonna try it, but it wasn't really my thing in beta, to be honest. So yeah, I think. The, I think a lot of people are, are not going to like the TV stuff and the puzzles and that sort of thing. Yeah. They're going to watch just to... chat hated I... <laughs> it when I played Zenless. That every time I played Zenless, then everybody just plays the, the bitch emote. And I just, yes. just bitch, <laughs> bitch, bitch. Fun? Oh, I feel so bad. Because I swear the game improved so much compared to the previous video. They took off so much of the TV. They added they a lot of quality of life. And the chat is like, nah, bitch. Bitch. It's <laughs> easy, bitch. And like, yeah, they're doing it right now. I'm like, oh my God. Yeah, just bitch, bitch, bitch. Yes. Yeah. 100%. The issue, yeah. I think the biggest issue is, so, you know how Genshin has open world exploration? Yeah. Right? Mm. And HSR, to its own extent, has its own, like, little exploration as well. ZZZ's exploration is fucking TVs, but then they, be- because they were asked to reduce it, they 2X'd it. So imagine if you were exploring Genshin Impact world at 2X speed. You're going to finish exploration real fast. Yeah. So th- I think that's why, like, I started hitting walls constantly, and I felt like, Wait, that's it? Because I'm just like going through these TVs so fast, and it's like, oh shit, it's done. I see. You know? Mm. Yeah. That's but what... maybe it'll be good. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I, we I don't know love how I feel about it, honestly. We love Hoyoverse. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I, I'm not super excited for it, but I'm I'm also like a pessimist when it comes to like everything. I'm like, this is gonna suck. <laughs> Mm-hmm. So they have improved it a lot and like personally I do like the TVs and puzzles and stuff but that's because I'm a dork and I like puzzles but it is not a, it's not viable for like streaming and for people to watch it's not watchable it's boring yeah I, I think it's fine I just keep up keep looking up Ellen's panties so <laughs> oh true that, that's the nice thing about ZZZ it has really nice panty shots compared to all other Hoyo games it does yeah. and I love the uh character screens when they <laughs> when they move around and stuff yeah i wish they would have kept the old nicole one but it is what it is it's so good it's not an official release date it was like wasn't it like leaked on like the apple store or something like that like accidentally got shown is it official no, I, I think it's pretty much official because uh there's a zzz twitter account that's one of their staff members that just like retweeted it okay so. okay yeah then it's like uh early july first week of july something like that Mm-hmm. First yeah. of July. Yeah. What yeah. what they do to Nicole? Didn't they make her titties smaller? I don't yes. remember. Yet. Not even. Not not even. Not they, really. They, they just a bust a bust nerve. They like changed some things because I, I feel really like care. they made them smaller. They gave her it's like a sports sense. bra, but mm-hmm. they also made her way more like liquidy. I don't know how else to explain. Liquidy. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, like uh, animation wise. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think she's. I think she's mid, she's... so I don't really care. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. Who's, the, who's your favorite? The mate? No, nah, yeah, it's Ellen. I, I mean, was going to say, I really like Ellen. Wait, which one girl. is Elf? I, Ellen. I do. Is that one she's of the mates? She's, she's got the teeth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see. She's cute. 
I can't even remember any of the other ones that I like. I think that game's going to make me a furry with the wolf guy. <laughs> I think they're trying to make people furries. There's a lot of questionable... Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, There's yeah, a they, lot they really... of lore for uh, the furry people. There's a lot nice. of lore for it. So it's Sweet. like very heavy in the furries. <laughs> Okay, as long as there's tier, they're tier one furries and they're like tier four and five furries. They, they, they it's all like all of them. There's so many sure different. The, the, there's the like bear guys at tier four. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah the bear yeah. guys at tier four, right? And the I wolf know, guys probably border, tier four. They're borderline tier five. Honestly, the bear is mm -hmm. just straight up a bear, so that's tier five. He is. He yeah, is. he's, he's yeah, literally yeah. just a big bear. <laughs> but then we've got like the the bunny girl that works at that one store, and she's like. A literal bunny, like she looks like a almost yeah. like Lola bunny. Oh, she, yeah, she has like the hair that's just big ears. Yeah, yep. And her face is like like she has fur mm -hmm. on everywhere. The gameplay yeah. is like a, like isn't it supposed to be like action like more action based? It is. Yeah, you have to parry and like. Oh yeah, right, yeah. I, it's it's like for babies. I just <laughs> parry I, is, it is. I press parry one button world. over and over and over. Easy. They yeah. have like the little, uh, it like does a little shine and then uh, regarding whatever yeah. color it it's is. It's very generous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, it's very generous. Oh my God, I played Sekiro today. It, oh my God, it destroyed me. Well, I, I was <laughs> watching <laughs> that <laughs> and I don't know how you're going to play Wuthering Waves. Why? <laughs> Lil Bro is just fucking <laughs> auto spamming, not even timing parries. He's just fucking getting ass blasted by one of the early bosses. <laughs> Oh my gosh. No, I mean, if, if I learn can I learn to the wave, end. anyone can. I'm I learned so the end. dog trash at those. And I'm pretty sure Warrior Waves is going to be way easier than Sekiro because you don't have the, the gauge, right? Sekiro parry, I just don't understand how it works, man. Like, they hit it two times and then you can't parry anyone, you just die. So I might as well just dodge, like, in Elden Ring. So, yeah. So, is no, it like I, a, I, a cooldown for your parry? No, I think he's holding block too often <laughs> without like actually getting the parry timing. Because if you if too. you don't parry, actually parry and just get blocked multiple times, your own meter goes up and then you kind of get fucked. Yeah. <laughs> I'm terrible at those games. Like I literally like played Elden Ring for the first time for like two or three hours on stream, and I literally raged so much, and I was just like, I'm never fucking playing this game ever again. <laughs> I'll like, play right? Stellar Blade. <laughs> I, I'm like halfway through the game, and that shit is. Good, amazing. Is it? Uh, yeah. Is it difficult I watch a gameplay lot of it. wise? Oh, the gameplay is really good, and mm -hmm. there's a lot of ass. So, yeah, that's the main thing. Should I say the ass first, and then the gameplay is pretty good? Oh, by the way, the gameplay is pretty good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No, but the gameplay is actually really good. Okay. Nice. Is it like yeah, Monster I Hunter? watch it for the gameplay. Yeah. I the think gameplay. it feels smoother than Monster. It, it feels like a Souls like, but like mm -hmm. more like actiony ass. or like skill based. Oh, okay. <laughs> As <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, yeah. Yes. okay, okay, yes. yeah, 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 more, more, more of the A's, right? More, all, all the A's, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks, I've been Pretty watching people action. play, it looks, it looks huge good. gameplay. I've been watching uh, a lot of people doing a lot of the like challenges with it, and it looks, it looks like once you're trying to do like those challenges and achievements, it can actually get kind of complex, so. Take that for what yeah. with no skin suit. And Bob's like, nah, easy, easy. It ain't nah. shit. <laughs> I'm so bad at those kind of games. I have, that's why I've never played any Souls. Any, that's why I play Star Elden Rail. Ring. I'm terrified. Um, yeah, I play, yeah, I play Hoyo games. I play Ho uh, baby games. Yeah, things that have autoplay. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's where I thrive. Yeah, me too. Lore, I'm a lore streamer. <laughs> yep. I'm here for the story. <laughs> and the boobs. Uh, I, I'm gonna give Wuthering Waves a try, though. I'm actually kind of, I, at first I was like, that's like Genshin. I didn't really get into Genshin, so I probably wouldn't get into this, but, uh, it looks pretty interesting to start. I'm gonna give it a try. I don't know. <laughs> looks I think my only yeah. worry for Wuthering is, uh, I think the standard banner character. Uh, th okay, this is just for me. I know a lot of people are, like, hyped for some of the standard banner characters, but I think all of them look so mid. Which ones are the standard banner characters? Uh, uh Encore, um, Calcharo, uh Jianchin, uh Ying Bro. Wait, Yin is limited, Yang. right? Huh? Wait, is Yin Ling limited? She is right. The Kafka. Yin Lin is uh limited, yeah. She's a second oh, okay, banner. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, it's just eh. I think they all look kind of mid. I like Encore's design and is that, the one, is that the one 
Yeah, 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 yeah. She is it's so cute. Mm. I love her. Wait, someone's echoing. Are we? Echo? Testing. Are we? Echo? Testing. Hello. Oh, maybe we're good. Hello. Okay, we're good now. It's just the voices. <laughs> just ignore voices. them. <laughs> it's just the voices. <laughs> ignore them. Um. Yeah, I don't. I think. I don't mind them too much. Uh, I'm just a sucker for these edgy boys, so obviously I'm gonna pick the uh, Mirage Hunter guy. <laughs> oh, true. So, so, I mean, it was an easy pick for me, but I know a lot of people also shared that sentiment where they were kind of underwhelmed with the characters, so that's been a popular thing people have said. And there's, like, I don't know, people are being, like, people are being really weird by like comparing character designs to like other games and stuff and they're like oh it's just so and so from this game and i don't uh, know i people always do that for some reason yeah that that uh newest trailer character uh what's his name again uh, uh, like, the gaming. Uh, yeah Ling yeah gaming Ling <laughs> everybody's like gaming? Just gaming. Yeah, gaming five star game yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> lang lang ling or something like that ling lang i remember his name Is just that... gaming. yeah ling yang Ling Yang. <laughs> Wait, people are comparing him to someone too? Yeah, uh, a Genshin yeah. character. Yeah. Oh, Genshin. I think that's like. He look, but he's he looks so much better. He's got like a nice colored aesthetic. Mm. I think I feel well. like that's where I keep seeing it. It's like being compared to like Genshin characters. Mm-hmm. Wait, I think I think Kiri is uh echoing. Me? Yeah. yeah, yeah. If whenever we talk and you cue your mic, we hear it back. We oh, it's because I'm putting my headphone too close oh, to the microphone. Okay. I see. I'm so sorry. Let me move it. <laughs> it's because I'm turning. Shit. Your head voice is so so loud. <laughs> the sound will like show you the thing. Sorry. Damn. Is that better now? I think test, so. Test 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 test. Okay. Wait wait no, you got you got to talk while we're testing. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I don't know. Can you still hear yourself? I think uh, it's. I think it's good. There, I, yeah, I think it's good. Yeah, yeah, after the headphone, you moved it. Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah. 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 Okay. Cool. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> um, Pop scream if you like AFK journey. Oh jeez. <laughs> my my girlfriend's asleep. <laughs> okay. Um, is that good? I had people asking me if I was gonna play that. I'm playing in the back right now. Really? <laughs> people were saying yeah. like Dude, the, the rates were kind of atrocious. So many people are like so uh, the the Gacha Smack is playing it, like Mina, the Ruby, they're all still playing it. Like even if they're not sponsored, they're still playing it. Is that they're all and I don't understand. It's like why would you play a game that doesn't even really play? It's just it's just AFK, man. Like I don't know, man. No, no, no. AFK yeah. is the AFK part is just like off when you're not on the game. And when you're on the <laughs> game, everything's like active play. But yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. So it's not really AFK. <laughs> active actively swiping. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm deep into. Oh you no, are deep. bro! When you send that screenshot, he beat the entire. There was this like progression because right? like, the more you clear, the more of the passive look. He beat the whole thing. Like what was it like? What two days? Three days? Oh yeah, oh, like, and oh. I'm like rank one in every game mode <laughs> on my server. <laughs> Wait a minute. So how yeah. long is it taking? Like not fob to to do it? Like on like, yeah. um, years. How long has AFK Journey been out? I don't really remember, but I, I think it takes like a normal player about a month or so <laughs> to clear the first uh, batch of AFK stages. But that's high yeah. praise. <laughs> I, I think I did it in like three days. Wow. Or oh, jeez. I haven't even looked at that one. Um, Who hurt you? Dude, I've been so deep in Star Realm, like stressing about how much I spent on that. I've been like very hesitant to start another like gacha game because <laughs> yeah, same. I'm not, I'm not good at making responsible decisions with it. <laughs> so yeah, I, I, I've been swiping on gacha games since like 2014. So oh my, oh my gosh, gosh. Holy shit. I think I started with uh, Genshin in 2020, and then I went to Honkai Third, and. uh so Honkai Third and Star Rail are the only two that I play. Oh, I guess other than the Zenless, but I play two Nikkei. are already hard. <laughs> I really like. Nikkei. I guess Cookie Run for the gameplay, obviously. <laughs> yeah, for the gameplay. <laughs> for yep. the gameplay. Uh huh. Of course. Um, I, Wait, I saw Tatum. I saw Tatum playing Cookie Run. It's so bad. You you had to use gold to remove gear. And there's like a billion oh. sub stats, a billion main stats, a billion like, dude. That's oh, not a game this is why it's, it's whenever, my... <laughs> yeah, whenever my that guy shields, 
Yeah, whenever that guy shills Kukuron, I'm like, bro, that game is so pay to win. And that's coming from me. And I know it's pay to win because <laughs> yeah. I played it and I swiped to keep up rankings in the arena. It's Oof. not worth it. Oh, not, yeah. I don't even start like an the epidemic of cookie cookies. runners. Like, who wants to fuck a cookie, bro? Tectone. <laughs> yeah, Tectone. <laughs> Tectone does. Yeah, maybe nah, just does also, maybe. half of them look like they would be, like, I guess, a, a female cookie, but they're <laughs> not. Nah, maybe just not. maybe they don't want to fuck a, you know, maybe Dude, people play gacha games just to, you know, it's cute. Wow. <laughs> Wait, Tectone is spamming my chat every to the call. Oh, no, I, I watched one where he was obsessed he, with a cookie he, he, that was a Oh, he's, he's, bro, he's gonna come and chill fucking uh, pastries. No, he doesn't have White Lily, so he can... I, he was no, obsessing he does, he does. over Oh, those. he does now, Yeah, finally. he got it, he got it, he got Is it. Is that yeah, the mermaid it, it. one? It's, uh, it was, like, the last meta one. Oh. Uh, There's probably a new one now. It's probably that lightning chick. I don't even... I, I haven't even know. played. <laughs> I don't yeah, know. yeah, the lightning lord, the lightning lord. Yeah, yeah. I've been trying to get her, but it's not really working. I'm these, not very good at it. These games and are I've been wild. playing since like. You know oh what's I, I've been playing off and on play. though. Hmm. Play Nike. Yeah, one yeah. million times better than uh, Poopy Run Kingdom. Agreed. <laughs> I might start it. I've been told that I need to play it, and it's so good. I just I don't have the bandwidth. Do you like <laughs> hot women? Uh, yes, I, that's why I play Honkai Third. It's the only, it, well, you, yeah, you would love it because there's you can literally like you need tissues for both hands because you have hot women and you're gonna be crying, so you're gonna need but you're oh, yeah, gonna need to really double good. up on tissues. Nice, nice. The story is like ten times better than any <laughs> Hoyo Bus story. Ooh, you said add shit. me to call you fucking fraud. Let me defend myself. <laughs> Oh my god. Yo, do it. Do it. Add him. I will oh, I will no. ro continue to roast Cookie Run Kingdom. Uh, get him in. Get him in. Cookie <laughs> Run Kingdom. I yeah. forgot how to add people. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. All I know is I watched one uh, Why didn't that one ep or one time when oh no, here he comes. <laughs> and there it is. And there it is. <laughs> there it is, boys. Hello. 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 Okay, uh, I was worried I was gonna have to turn him down. My representative here, um, behind in the call. <laughs> you this guy's bringing <laughs> his this? lawyer. He's bringing his goons. Okay. He's bringing, bringing his wingman, bro. Not the cookie run goons. Oh, I'm not, I'm not gonna let you guys gang up on me. Okay. What do you mean? Uh, uh yo, Shinya. <laughs> oh, what up? Uh, I would like you guys. This, uh, this Shinya. This is my lawyer. <laughs> um, we're going here to address the slander accusations that Cookie Run Kingdom is a, apparently a terrible game. Apparently, wait, wait, who's the terrible? Whoa, Nobody's the terrible. No, it's a terrible. Okay, well, let's go. No, it's just not terrible. Just not fuckable. Go ahead, say say your point. I think it's very pay to win. <laughs> yes, it is. Exactly. That's all I said. That's it. Let's every gotcha game. I, that's every not gotcha true. Game. Every yes, gotcha it is. With, Name with one PvP. Not. There's nothing to win in Genshin Impact. Yeah, that's because There's... all. That's because everyone plays it is a loser. Well, there's also okay, but then, but then you just agreed with me. <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> yeah, there's no PvP. You, it's got the game. You can yeah, win it's... it. In Genshin, you always lose. Okay, then quit. Hey, at <laughs> oh, least in Cookie Run, you can win. I yeah. Any any gotcha game with PvP. Every gotcha game with PvP is pay to win. Just period. Absolutely. No, go ahead. That's Ufie, what go yeah. Ahead, that's what head. pay to win means. And if there's no PvP, then it's not pay to win. But is there PvP in Cookie Absolutely. Run? Absolutely, and it's there the best is? goddamn yeah. thing on earth. Whoa. No, it's, it's like terrible. The, it's like Honkai Third. It's, it's terrible because you're bad at it. Ranks. No, no, no. As in, it's terrible. As in, my girlfriend just like went from like, oh, these cookies are cute to, babe, I spent thousands of dollars. Like, <laughs> that's not <laughs> good. Your girlfriend's better than you. <laughs> what what does it cost gold <laughs> to remove you? She knows how to win. You don't know how to win. Why so does it take no gold gold Are you gonna take gear? that, man? Oh Why my does it gosh! Cost gold to remove gear because that's how it would cost in real life. You're injecting these things into your body. That's <laughs> yeah, the Are immersion, you go to a tattoo bro. Tattoo artist and say, "Oh, I want this tattoo for free." Obviously not. Bro, they're cookies. They just need to get more dough and cook Isn't it up. Isn't it and like a to topping, them. though? You know what dough costs? <laughs> Money. You know what toppings cost? Money. It's for immersion purposes. Yeah, it's <laughs> it's teaching you a valuable lesson. Exactly. Uh, um, okay. <laughs> okay, but like, yeah. I, I love. I mean, how I feel like is. all the money you could be spending in Cookie Run Kingdom would be better spent on Nikkei. Here, here's a better idea, Fab. Don't lecture me with your thirty dollar haircut. Okay. Whoa. I don't get nothing out of your. All right. Are we gonna talk about hair when you use conditioner for hand soap? 
because you're coping that you don't have hair to use it on? You saw that? You saw yeah, that? I saw <laughs> that. Your views I are don't even have hand soap. <laughs> Insane. Does that mean you don't even have body wash either? Why the fuck would I not have body wash? Because I don't have a body? <laughs> What the fuck do you mean? Why would I not have body wash? Yeah, he's actually just a bald head that just attaches to his body when he wakes up. And then after stream ends, he just jump the little like head tops out of the body and crawls away. I put my conditioner in my bathroom as soap because I ain't gonna use it. You see what I'm saying? Like I ain't gonna use it on nothing else. But well, why did you have conditioner to, to begin with? Egg? You have no hair. Because I bought it for my guest. All right. I bought it. That's my this this behind me is my guest bathroom. I never use it ever. Except to take a shit. Okay, so what do you mean in the bathroom? You literally replied and said you use it every day. No, I I shit. You're I doing shit the mental there. gymnastics of the, the Twitter, of the Twitter tards oh, no, again. Okay. Yeah. Wait, Mr. Puppy, you look fucking sexy as shit today, man. I just want to let you know that. You look great, man. I hope the How do we get from cookie run to tectone Anything. shitting? That's a crazy tone. You, you need to <laughs> go watch Poke's Sekiro playthrough. This guy is... Oh, he's terrible. Yeah. It's <laughs> okay? true. This is my first playthrough. Bro, you and played I have Elden, Elden Ring. Ring. You played Elden, Elden Ring. Because, bro, Elden Ring forces you to dodge everything. I can't just switch from the you dodge brain rot to the parry brain rot. And like, it just, it's, you can't dodge in Sekiro. You have to parry everything. And I just can't dodge timing or I'll, basically I'll be real. Okay, is here, parry. Here's my take on Mr. Poke, okay? Nobody's watching because he's good at games. Nobody's watching him because he's smart. <laughs> He's not good at anything, but he's just really fuckable. And that's pretty much it. Like, he's just eye candy, you know what I mean? Like, he's a thirst trap. Look at his fucking Twitter, bro. He posted a picture of him. He did have his shirt off earlier. Morning. Yeah, he was posting he a thirst trap. He was supposed to what? He was posting thirst trap. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I he thought was... you said he was supposed to jerk off earlier. I was like, what the fuck are you no, doing? What? He, no, he's no, no. Listen, right let's be real. Only you can get away with that on stream. True, I know. I, I <laughs> you brought his call. <laughs> Uh -oh. No, I said he. I said he was streaming with his shirt off earlier, so he's yeah, definitely thirsty. By the way, thirsting. I see that you're cosplaying my girlfriend. That's cool. It looks great. Thank you. Yes. I had to. I had to get creative here because I had to <laughs> keep the headphones on. Cool, cool, cool. All right, so we all we all done with the cookie run slander here. We okay, may I may I get back to my business? Yes, Not sir. Ninety k's better think... still. <gasps> <laughs> okay, I mean I'll be real. You're right. Okay, but the problem is is that Nikkei it really doesn't help my porn addiction at all. I like playing cookie run because it makes me feel like a human. You know, because I play all these gotcha games. There's just boobs, ass <laughs> flying everywhere. At least when I play Cookie Run, it's not like destroying my life. You know what I mean? That's that's why I like Cookie Run. It just makes me hungry when I play it. Yeah, there's no. nothing yeah, wrong with a it porn addiction. Yeah, that too. There's nothing wrong with a porn addiction. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well. Well. <laughs> well. Yeah, well. We'll get into that on another, on another podcast. Yeah, that's going to be a different <laughs> podcast episode, man. <laughs> all right, have a great podcast. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Wow. Oh his lawyer said so nothing, but he said I like, one sentence. Just, yeah. His lawyer just, his lawyer like, just, just did not help. Just me, and I just said nothing, and then Taylor just yelled about how he shits. <laughs> That's funny. What a goober. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I was a little nervous funny. at first. <laughs> I was like, oh, shit, we about to get real in here. But <laughs> I'm like, oh, God, what is he going to say? Nah, fuck them cookies. Yeah, <laughs> fuck them cookies. <laughs> no, those cookies Wait, are definitely don't fuck fuckable. Them. Don't fuck them. Oh, yeah, yeah. Definitely don't <laughs> fuck them, but like, as in, like, yeah, fuck them. <laughs> oh, jeez. Jesus Christ. Oh, What's man. Our... Now what I'm like, how do, we, how do we pivot to our more serious gotta, discussions editor, you gotta, now? Are you going to add that in? Are you going to tell the editor to edit? What's that? Oh, why not? Yeah, we're going to leave that in. Oh, tech? Okay. Oh, yeah, why not? That was fun. Okay, okay. Shit posting about Cookie Run Kingdom. It's sort okay, of should we talk about the serious <laughs> stuff? I guess, I guess. Um, all right, so this is stuff that's kind of important to me because uh, I feel like creators, obviously as creators, we tend to focus on the more fun stuff and entertainment and just creating content because um, one, it's our livelihood and passion and everything. Oh, puppy. Aww. I thought it was a cat. He's my little I thought rat. he had a cat. Oh, he acts like okay. a cat. Aww, okay. that's so cute. Um, yeah, doggo spotted. I know everything has to stop. Um, <laughs> so I wanted to take an episode and take a moment to talk about things that um, are a little bit more serious in this gaming world um, that I feel like creators don't talk about very often, especially as we're just swiping our credit cards over and over and over. <laughs> um, <laughs> so 
Uh, this episode or this this part of the topic is going to be focused on things like addiction, which runs pretty rampant in games where FOMO is utilized and especially in gacha gaming and microtransaction type games. Um, we're going to talk about maybe how we can encourage people to be maybe better than us <laughs> and make better decisions. Um, but first, let's just say like uh, burnout in gacha is pretty real. Have you guys experienced burnout in these games? Yeah. Uh, yes. No, Pop's still going strong. You know, ten oh, years really? later. Oh <laughs> really? So I, I, I played. I, I'm, I'm like a MMO brain rotter. I'm also a League of Legends brain rotter. So like, okay, that makes I sense. can play <laughs> games for years. Like, so it's easy so. for you. Oh, uh, you, you yeah. are forged in the hellfires of League yeah. of Legends. That makes sense. All right, you. So you obviously we all play multiple gachas at the same time. Clearly. Oh, I yes. think. Uh, Do I, we? Do I'm we know? <laughs> Well, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I would say only I... Honky, only Star Wars is my main one. Everything else is not really that much. Not that yeah, much. That's why, that's why, that's why, why I called, that's why I called Tectone's gotcha, gotcha cast, uh, fraud cast because like everyone in there just plays Hoyaverse games. <laughs> that's yeah. it. They don't play any other gotcha <laughs> cast. Like, oh, my, imagine, imagine Tectone's gotcha cast is called Hoyo cast, and then yeah, the Hoyo <laughs> that would make more sense. Because of that. that would be insane. I've been trying to at yeah. least like Sponsor keep up. Hoyo cast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't really play them, but I at least like try to keep up with what's going on. That's kind of like my extent. I I think yeah. that if you're playing multiple at the same time, though, that can probably help with burning out. But that's like any game, like yeah, focusing too I hard on to, one thing. Like, take like I try to like take turns with my games and stuff. So mm -hmm. uh, I play Honkai Third and Star Rail. Those are really the two main ones that I really stick to. Mm -hmm. And so like if Star Rail's like in between uh like main story quests and stuff and i'll spend most of my time on honkai third and like really make content for that and then whenever that has like downtime then i'll switch over to star rail and kind of neglect honkai third for a little bit which i've been doing this week and i really need to catch up on the story so i feel like i am i'm like i need to play it but i don't really want to how are you guys focusing on these games like in these like periods after you like do everything in the patch like are you still playing it like pretty consistently like star rail oh yeah i, 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 I would say this for like <laughs> but i feel like for content creators mm -hmm. you should like um ask a few like very helpful individuals especially for example your chat and you know, I, I call them like executive account managers, <laughs> so that they can actually help you to do a lot of like your daily stuff, and it makes life a lot easier when it comes mm -hmm. to burnout content. And then you just hop on to stream and play like the exciting stuff. So mm -hmm. yeah, that's nah. what I was doing for a while. <laughs> I had uh, one of my mods, and then also like my little brother, <laughs> um, play on my Star Rail account for me, and like just do the daily farming and stuff. Uh, at least for at least to get me caught up. After the uh, after my tech tone account review, I had I had like two people working on my account to get me caught up. So we're back. We're back to. I remember that disaster. Good now. <laughs> most, most of my games I play myself. Uh, like there's like maybe one or uh, like one gotcha game like Epic Seven that I just constantly quit all the time. So I just kind of gave it to someone to just manage if they wanted to. But then they gave up on it too, so it didn't really go for very this long. This is the but first yeah. time I'm hearing like that creators like have other people manage their accounts and stuff. I never really even thought about it to be honest. I I wouldn't really do it because some of my accounts are like I've spent way too much money on them. <laughs> Value wise, they just hop out, take yeah. the account info, and just sell it and just make Yeesh, way more money. But real. yeah, I guess it yeah. could help. Like if you're burning out though, I guess that could help with it as a creator anyway. I don't. I would not recommend to the average person to have like your mom managing your Star Rail account while no, you're burned maybe out. Maybe like maybe like your little brother or someone that knows how to mm. play the games. But um, okay, do you guys? Think, oh, oh, go on. Uh, uh, I think like the biggest thing with like burnout though is I don't know how many like actual gotcha players experience burnout because for most people, gotcha is like just something. It's a side game, right? It's rarely people's main games. Mm -hmm. But like us as content creators, it's like a, a lot of people make it their main thing. Yeah. But like gotcha games are realistically something that'll have content for like the first two to three days of a patch and then mm -hmm. just log in five to ten minutes and then log out, right? Mm -hmm. yep. But yeah, that's true. Yeah, I th I, that's why I think creators experience burnout because there's really technically nothing to do. That's why you have to like be creative and make your own content. 
Otherwise, mm-hmm. you're gonna feel yeah. that burnout. That's you true. log on and do your like 1612 or your 240 12 yeah. power, do all that, and then that's you're like, okay, well, creators. should we try pure fiction again? Or <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's <laughs> what do you want to do today? I think that's good advice to aspiring like gacha creators is like you really have to be creative and don't rely on just playing the game as your concert. You gotta you gotta really shine with creativity. Mm-hmm. And it'll give you the art of stalling. But, yeah, that's, that's what I was about to true. say. Learn the yeah, art of stalling. I feel like you have to. Or as, you have or to. as Techie Otherwise, has accused Pokey of just thirst trapping. <laughs> you, you don't have to stall. You could also <laughs> just sit in a category and react, Andy. That's true. <laughs> that is the new meta. Yeah. 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 yeah, I'm yeah. a I'm a big lore streamer, so like that's it's like I feel like it's easier for me because I can always just like replay something or go do a side quest and just ramble on about lore and stuff. But that still is kind of more of a niche thing to watch too. So it's not one of those like, oh, we're gonna learn from her. No, we're just gonna listen to her ramble. She's <laughs> yapping. Yes. Yap fest. Yap yapping yep, is like yep, the biggest yep. skill for streamers. So it's true. Yes, sir. Yeah. I always like to think yeah. we're, we're mostly just chatting with a game that happens to be on while we're doing it. Yep. It's like <laughs> Asmongold and WoW all over again. Mm-hmm. Just with gotcha games. <laughs> okay. This one, you don't have to answer this if you don't want to. Do you guys track how much money you spend in gotcha gaming? Uh, somewhat. Somewhat. <laughs> Not till I end up doing taxes. That's where I got. Yeah. That's where I got got. <laughs> yeah, roughly, roughly. Yeah. Very rough, yeah. Yeah. My Genshin account is like closing on or past seventy k. Holy shit! What? What? Yeah, I bro, it's four years of swiping. Oh my god! That's, yeah, that that's is true. true. Almost twenty k a year though. That's crazy, dude. So you basically use yeah. six yeah. everything. Why? Why do you think I've been talking about cutting back? Because <laughs> yeah, after four there years, some of people don't even make twenty k a year. Oh my god, nuclear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do no, no, no. <laughs> oh, pff, yo, fuck real. Hey, listen, wait. I I've been pushing for like fuck relatability. All right, too many fuck content creators focus on relatability and being like catering to free to plays and shit. Uh, obviously, like it makes the most sense, right? In terms of like analytics, because it's like mm-hmm. that's the biggest audience. But it's created like in definitely like the Hoyaverse space, it's definitely created a stigma where if your content isn't relatable, like you kind of get like shit on, you know? Yeah, like, oh, okay, yeah. well, okay, that's well. That's a good point. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like, uh, it's like that Brax tweet where uh, Brax got roasted for having like a uh, non S1 dance, 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 and people are like, what the fuck? This is not relatable. He's fake. And it's like, okay, bro, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah you know yeah so like fuck them hey make whale content <laughs> no i i actually have like on here was talking about like the differences between like one content creators just spend money away that's more it's entertaining like mm-hmm. let's be real content creators they can write it money, off too right i mean it's uh, a little don't, different don't spend as much as i do like <laughs> maybe four not years of, <laughs> no. you know, four years of content creation i should be in a much better financial state than I am. I feel like this is like happening a lot for creators. Like, oh, yeah. I'm creators never, I, it's so never easy to spend up. on the stream and on the I, only content. battle pass. It's I, I don't know easy. how. I don't know for Poke or where most of you guys live. Like how taxes work. Are you are you guys um based in the U.S.? Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Singapore. Oh, yeah, okay. I know you're. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? No so, way. Holy oh, shit. Okay. No way. Yeah, but like, yeah. so I, I don't really know how like uh, taxes work for Poke, but like, um, yeah, that that you can only write off so much yeah. and get so many deductions. Mm-hmm. And it, it's and nothing close to the dollar value. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, and bad. you can't be in a loss for so many. It's a years, write off is such so. a coping mechanism. <laughs> Yeah, it when is. my when my when my tax guy came back to me and said like your net income for the last year was negative, I was like, "What?" <laughs> yeah, and then if you, I, I think I was if like that happens too. like four years in a row, then um you have to like declare bankruptcy. Dude, I feel like people don't talk about this like at all because like they don't, they don't. I um mine, I was about the same way like after doing taxes and I was VTubing as well. So the cost I was putting into Star Rail and VTubing, I basically mm-hmm. spent it all back in the stream. And I was like, holy fuck, what did I just do with my year? Like, yeah. glad I made everyone happy, but man. I oh yeah, awesome. man. And I, I feel like it's it's hard for like 
smaller, especially like 2024, gacha games are like getting more popular and content creating is also getting more popular. So all these like new smaller content creators are like popping into the space and like is hearing all this like, oh, okay, well, we can write off this. We can write off that. So let's just go in hard on the pools. And um, yeah, it's probably not the greatest. Yeah. Dude, I just bought a Steam Deck with that mentality. Yeah, it's a write off. <laughs> no, it's not. You like it though? I do love it. It's actually really nice. nice. Okay. So, she. I just got a rogue light and yes. I love it. <laughs> um, okay. So, FOMO is obviously the psychological tactic that is the most utilized in these games. Like, everyone experiences at some point, especially with banners and character pulling, FOMO. And that's what is probably the main thing that gets people to spend more money um <laughs> now and I'm, I'm sitting here like man now we're just a we're just a bunch of whales i don't know if we experience fomo <laughs> like oh no i, I do. do you guys do you guys experience fomo in these games i do i still do not have silver wolf i'm very sad you don't need her everyone forgot about her i after do like need six her months. i need her so bad <laughs> she should know no one needs her anymore forgettable after no. month three no I think as a whale, FOMO is still very real. Yeah. But like, I think my biggest issue is I just play too many different gacha games. And then it's just like, legitimately, I still to this day swipe on games. I, I literally just dropped $300 on Arc Knights and I don't play that game. I don't know what's wrong with me. I, I legitimately don't log in or Do play. Do you think at that all. is associated with something like FOMO or you just, just because you wanted it, you wanted to get it? I mean, I mean it's definitely FOMO. Because yeah. it's like, oh, she's hot. I kind of want her. Do I play the game? No, but like, but fuck it, she's it. hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, feel like, I feel like that's also one of those like, ooh, shiny button. Like, oh, click shiny button. I have to click it. I think it's that's, like, that's for me, it's too. that thing in my brain where like, I, like they, they kind of tease you. with like, yo, you can't have it. And I'm like, yes, I can. I just can swipe my card and then I can have it. So like, yeah. it's also this it's, rebellious lot sense also, of like, um, ugh. Yeah. yeah a lot of it too is like uh boredom so when there's like a slow part after a patch you're it's almost like you feel obligated to pull more and to do more content because uh last weekend when i took a little break off streaming i was so fucking bored so i just played star rail for like hours and i never do that spending money and when i'm bored is a i had bad habit. a hundred pulls saved for um boot hill and, and i just spent them, them all I just spent all hundred on the adventuring light cone, trying to get the light cone. I ended up losing the 50-50, but I got his, oh. I got adventuring's idol on instead. So it's not as bad as it could have been, but. I, I mean, I've never been, uh, I, I don't know if I'd like just on a slow patch to swipe because out of boredom. Uh, that, okay, that all right. might be, that might That's be a little different from FOMO. <laughs> that might just be yeah, like. I, you gotta yeah. hop off before you do that. Um, yeah, yeah I think like, that's very I have all these pools. Oh my god! I'm just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That's just never do that. That's yeah. like yeah. that's chasing that's chasing that. dopamine, Ufi. It that's was chasing the Absolutely. dopamine. I didn't well, stream for four days, and I was like, <laughs> I have to do something. I need to feel something. Before you pull, go play one game of League. I guarantee you, it goes away. Yeah, I've never played League just, in my life. Any video games that, that, after playing gone. League goes away. <laughs> I said, it's just gone. Like, okay, fuck this game. I'm going to go on. It's just going to bit. So you'll never think about a pool in America. Genuinely. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I've, I've, never, played, I've never played League a day in my life. But I've always been like a little interested in it. Just a little. You, no, don't do it to yourself. I literally <laughs> reinstalled it a month ago, played a game, and I was like, yep, yeah, nope, I'm good. No, but like, even if you lose and you get like angry and like, like you get a hold, but if you, even if you win, you feel like, oh my god, you feel good winning. Then you won't think about mm -hmm. wanting to pull the unit anymore. You just need to destroy yourself or something. So like, mm -hmm. I think league is pretty good. Yeah. yeah. What do you mean? When you win, you're like, oh shit, I actually rolled good teammates. That means my gotcha luck is good. <laughs> no, 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 no one no. thinks. Don't no associate thinks. your good luck. No oh my god. Okay. okay. Yeah, it's you know, like a lucky day. day. Good RNG right now. I should pull. Yeah, I have this theory of gotcha equilibrium where I believe that if I start having bad rolls on a certain game and it gets like constantly bad rolls, bad rolls, bad rolls, I'm like, okay, now my like my gotcha luck is no longer at equilibrium. It's down here, so it has to equalize. So if I 
you know, if I had bad luck, I save that and wait for like, a, you know, the gotcha I really play, like HSR or Genshin. And I'm like, okay, now <laughs> you, my role should be good. You believe yeah, in my that, exact that, that same thing? Like I call it hidden pity. I feel like everything yeah, yeah, yeah. is hidden, hidden pity. pity. Exactly. So like, exactly. If I feel like a bit of red rose, the next row, it's, it, it's bound to get a guru. So yeah. I, I legit mm -hmm. believe in this. So I like, think oh I'm getting max crazy. pity in real life yeah. in every aspect. It sucks. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I get that way, too, because I feel like whenever I have a really bad, really bad RNG on the gotcha, all my relics roll really well. And I'm like, OK, what the hell is going on here? And then if I have like really bad luck on my relics, I'm like, oh, I'm going to go pull all the gotcha because I, <laughs> I'm going to have good luck on that one. For everyone no. listening, and we were going to be serious about this, don't do all this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. With relics, uh, there's this guy named Bernard. You, uh, <laughs> relic manipulation. <laughs> oh gosh, I followed that, but I, I'm gonna be honest, I'm way too fucking lazy. Yeah. No, it's that's not it's not real. <laughs> oh, it's not even real. I looked at it, but I, as soon as I, as soon as it was busting out the spreadsheets and excels, I was like, no, 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 no. I'm good. That's I, too much. I found it goes even deeper. There's Genshin artifact manipulation where this guy's saying basically for each different tier of roles, you know how in Genshin and HSR there's like min rolls to high rolls, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. On every stat. So he takes each possible stat and what tier it is and he aligned it to the fodder that you're feeding it, right? So he's like, okay, if you have a mid-roll attack percentage, the fodder piece you're feeding for EXP needs to have EM or, like, energy recharge. And then if you feed that, it'll hit that stat 100%. <laughs> like, bro, like, this is nah. Like, Ready? This is some Don't pay attention level to shit. the stats on my actual characters. There is no way I would even try to min max relic rolls like that. That's no, crazy. no, no. They're all they're all bullshit. Like one oh yeah, for sure. Why would anyone make a system like that? That just makes no That's sense. That's just like so much extra work for no reason. <laughs> yeah. Also, wow. on top of that, the Genshin video that uh, shows that legitimately, he like jumps around like eight different accounts. I'm like, bro, why is this guy jumping that? It's probably because he's just upgrading like hundreds of a. a relics until it just works one percent the video. Works exactly time. yeah oh and then just only shows that one percent that worked <laughs> it's like oh my god i'm think, i'm jesus do you, do you think that it's all for the clout or do you think he's actually developed some weird like ritual coping mechanism that he actually believes oh definitely that's like oh, yeah some confirmation bias it. and all that stuff so yeah yeah, yeah i agree um so yeah, what you were guys. We talking about? I honestly, we're oh, talking yeah, about we were talking, about, we were talking gambling about addiction. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, and, yeah. And and we should talk about gambling addiction. Gambling addiction. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. So mm -hmm. FOMO. How do you guys think? What is? Do you have any advice for how the players uh, can can fight the temptation of FOMO? And especially, we can even talk about in the terms of Star Rail and Hoyo games, or just in general of Gacha gaming. Any they'll, ideas? They'll come back around. Uh, I would say like find a okay as, as cliche as it sounds find like a greater purpose in life instead of the gacha game itself and you can't understand that at the end of the day that's the game but like if you have a thing more than the gacha game then you'll feel that you know what even if I don't get it or get it it doesn't matter because like, that's not the main objective it's like you make it your side quest and your main quest so yeah that's a good way to put I it I like that yeah I like I, that I think I think whenever someone feels FOMO go open another game mm -hmm. and right. uh, like that that's the issue i think most people feel fomo like strongest when they're just too focused on one on game. one game and yep. if they hop off they won't feel that fomo and that other mm. game you hop to should not be another gotcha game that's true <laughs> yes that's absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> yeah i hate what i do that and i'm like oh shit i wish i would have got sparkle i lost i lost too well that all sparkles and i get on honkai third and i don't get the new character and i'm like trying to do the abyss and i'm like all of them wish i would have gotten i wish i would have pulled for luna so bad i'm like frick yeah so that's a I good point definitely don't be jumping gacha games because it just it just capitalizes on each other i think for me it's... i wake up and i go to work and i deal with the general public and i feel better that's true i think for me the fomo comes from having like the collector's mentality because like Right at this point, like I'm like, oh, I have all the characters on my account, but if I if I skip this one, it's gonna be the only character I don't have. And so I've gotten stuck in that like collector's mentality of getting all the characters and having like a complete account. So that's my big. Well, the advice. beauty is there are reruns, so yeah. you can get them later. That's true. <laughs> you don't have to get them now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 
delayed gratitude guys we have to start practicing delayed yeah gratitude. that's the issue you know i think i think most uh gotcha whales probably sorry, gratification their their, their canon <laughs> their canon uh, event was <laughs> they just didn't get a character they really wanted yeah they that was their so didn't want to an origin story yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. definitely like the instant gratification of of getting it now so yeah, mm -hmm. definitely keep in mind that reruns. I, I am I am victim to this too, where I'm like, I can just get it now and I don't know when the rerun's gonna happen. So <sighs> it's kind of rough. Even whenever yeah. you're like willing it's better just... to hold it off at the beginning of a game. Cause it's always gonna there's always gonna be power creep. So just wait. Just wait yeah. it out. They'll come back I around. I think with Star Rail, a big thing is focusing on like team comps. That's helped me because like I'm I'm skipping Robin. I know, crazy. But it's because I already have Same. harmony characters like that can suit most teams, you know. So Same. maybe that can help people like focusing on roles or team comps. Maybe. Nah, I think I think the best strat, especially when it comes to Hoyo games, is ignore meta, ignore all that. Just pull for who you want. Just who you want. Mm -hmm. But what if you want all of them? <laughs> the, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> the long best longevity is gonna be like having who you want and if you don't have who you want you're gonna be you know kind of oh yeah kind of mad and i feel like quit, star so. rail had this issue at least like that i saw a lot in the community where people pulled for who they want and then they couldn't do content because they didn't get like a a, a support character like a, a preservation or abundance character and then they were upset about that so i don't know the balance there there was an example there was the example there? Like, um, like I believe it's like when Swarm came out, like around that time, um, or when they increased the difficulty of MOC, um, people were saying like they had, you know, pulled for care like the Kafka teams or like all the waifu teams, and then they were lacking um any five star support character to keep them alive through content, because they, they they skipped Luocha, they skipped uh, who else came out? Oh gosh, I'm trying to think. It was Fu. They skipped Luocha. They skipped Fu. And so they didn't have like the tank or the support characters to keep them alive through any of the content. And they were they were struggling with like four star abundance characters. So I'm not right. sure the balance but, there. Did they run go for that waifu, right? What's that? Sorry, go for it. Hmm? No, oh Is no, I was just, Oh yeah, I was just saying that they run Trailblazer. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, they probably they probably didn't invest I don't know. in I, I think Blazer. The, yeah, I, I think the beauty of like HS or uh, just Hoyo games in general is like you can pretty much beat most things with some iteration of something mm -hmm. as long as you know you have really good builds. <laughs> mm -hmm. So just it lacking not, on like, not focusing on builds, they were just focusing on on comps and characters. Yeah, and I think it'd also be different if it had like a PvP sort of ranking or any sort of competitional game mode or whatever i don't want anything to do with pvp <laughs> myself yeah, so i don't want anything I to do think... with it i think that would spur people to spend more fucking money on the game oh yes oh geez yes. and that's why i think it's okay to just like be okay with not you know having the meta character that's out right now just take your time so i guess work on your characters make a weird fucking build I don't know. Yeah, Make guess, DPS Locha. I guess the I don't end know. part of it is that, like, like Fob said, pull for who you want and like the characters that you really like, but you really have to make sure you're investing in builds on the characters that are going to be supporting them. So, that that could be a middle ground for avoiding that FOMO. Yeah, a little it's bit. easier to build characters when you don't have as many. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I would say maybe for Stario, I don't know if this might hold you because because Genshin is like apparently super easy, right? Because like the the end game has always been safe, but like Stario has been adding a lot, and um from what I could tell from like my chat and audience is like it's getting increasingly more difficult. So you <laughs> might not just get by with just proof of what you want. Like sometimes just just die or just don't even clear like the full thirty six stars. And then when they add more and more like, end game content in the future, it might be a you might not you might be forced to get them to get mm -hmm. to clear everything yeah 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 that's, that's that's like what i meant earlier with the uh they're adding more end game to sell more characters that's yeah, true yeah, yeah, oh, this, God. This it, it does come yeah, back yeah, around yeah. to that so maybe being mindful of that guys you don't, you don't have to clear everything immediately they are going to keep like pop site creating problems to sell you more solutions so you just have to you really have to be disciplined and think about it like yes we love these games 
and they're a lot of fun and of course they're high quality when you're when technically you can be free to play but at the mm -hmm. end of the day it is a business that is trying to utilize FOMO and uh, <laughs> focusing on trying to get you to buy more of these characters so yeah. you have to keep that in mind otherwise you day, it's yeah. a gacha game end of the day gacha games are just trying to make money so um yep. true, true. off of children yes what? shiny buttons well, well, shiny someone colors. think of the adult children that keep spending their money <laughs> oh man um so gacha systems often promote like addiction obviously through these means um what do you think about them utilizing ways of like obtaining free currency daily logins battle passes constant events and just like trying to get people even to consume their content outside of the game like web events and whatnot um do you think all these things contribute or could contribute to addiction with these games like kind of getting that dopamine of getting into the cycle of i gotta obtain my free currency and whatnot i think it could be both because like at the same time it's also a way to get the free the right. free materials to use to it towards it so you don't have to use your own money but mm -hmm. kind like of double-edged also... yeah like it, it can it can solve some of the spending issue but it also can promote your ongoing gameplay with it yes it, it's it's i i think uh i've been playing gotcha games for like 10 plus years mm -hmm. I, I think the biggest thing that these companies like do outside of like just fomo and stuff like that and like in-game pop-ups is like community building because mm -hmm. um I, I don't know how many people have like uh i don't know how long most of you guys have played gotcha games but like i've played been playing so long i've been in so many different discords communities ircs and stuff like that and that is like a really big portion of like i guess instigating fomo but not from the company but from each the other yeah. when you when like a lot of gotcha discords here, right? Like I'm, pro I'm probably sure everybody has their own discord with like a, you know, a roll channel or like a luck channel or mm -hmm. salt channel or something like that. And you might think, oh, that's just where like people go to post like their really good rolls or something like that. And that, oh, that's that. But it's not like I 100% believe every time someone sees someone else roll or get lucky, that can facilitate that person seeing that to also want to roll themselves. A hundred percent. And this is why this is why these gotcha games like do so many things off, out of game as well because they want to foster a community that literally perpetuates, you know, the desire to swipe or desire to want more. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think a lot of people just like don't really think about the five D chess that gotcha community or gotcha games. It is. Like, it is a psychological play, yeah. like mind game with everything when it comes to just business practice with all this stuff. Um, I think a lot of people tend to like focus on oh, it's a community where I'm feeling um, connected, sharing mutual interests and stuff like that. But uh, and that can be true. But like you said, I think it can really perpetuate um, the back and forth of kind of getting jealous of everyone else's luck and wanting more and stuff like that for sure. Yeah, definitely. I'll yep. wait for Oofy to get back here. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's so true. That that was a really good way to put it. Um, I actually have it on here. We were gonna kind of talk about. I don't know what she's up to. There she is. Um, <laughs> as content creators, do you feel like that dynamic actually plays into content creation too, where chat is constantly kind of like pressuring you to spend more or do more? Is that something you feel like? Uh, might contribute to you spending more? <laughs> um, honestly, I feel that if chat wants me to spend, but I know I don't want to spend, I'll, I will never spend it. Yeah. But if I'm already like a little bit on the edge, on the edge. and chat gives you that push, it, it will work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if I really don't want to, I know they're, they're not going to change my mind. So, so it kind of depends. Example is that, yeah. yeah, it kind of depends. Like, um, okay, I, I don't even think this should count because like, for example, in Genshin Arlequino, I was like completely fine without getting mm -hmm. Arlequino. But then, like, um, they they literally forced top up Genesis Crystal on my account. And I'm like, okay, since you guys did it, I might as well just spend it. So, I think I was watching yeah. that. Oh. Yeah, I was watching when that happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something like something yep. this. Yeah, I feel like if that if if they did that to me, I would, I would feel obligated to. I definitely feel use it. obligated when yeah. they when they do that for sure. Yeah, I I always definitely say like oh so like me personally, it's like if I 
don't plan to pull for a character, I'm just not going to pull for them because mm. I think they're ugly. I think they're lame, something like that, you know? So mm. I won't pull for them. But if someone obviously just like gives a direct donation, it's like, oh, like pull. You feel kind of obligated. Yeah, I mean, that's yeah, what it's they're, like, yeah. they just spent money, you know, they want something, might yeah. as well. Like, it's not my money. Well, technically, it's my money because they just gave it, but like, it's, <laughs> but it's they, not my yeah, money. <laughs> they, they may not have wanted to give that in a different circumstance specifically for this. So I, I understand that for sure. Um, Let's see. Yeah, I, I, I actually want to uh, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Oh, uh, outside wait. of that, it's like, um, I, I don't know if uh, HSR has it as much. Maybe slightly, but like back in Genshin's like early days, um, I would definitely pull for characters because I see like some random guy in Billy Billy doing like <laughs> three million damage. I'm like, yo, mm -hmm. that kind of looks cool. I want to yeah, do that. I think that happened with and a that lot makes of people with wanna, on. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and so that definitely exists um i will definitely say like nowadays i'm a little less like that because you know it's just it's like very mm -hmm. short gratification it's like oh cool we hit three million what what what, what do we do now <laughs> like do you think you hit that with your experience because you have a lot of experience with these games over all this all this time kind of maybe some but more... uh, maybe but i think it's more so like yeah there's no point anymore for genshin yeah. at least <laughs> yeah even, even in on. hsr i haven't really felt like oh my god that guy just hit stinking uh, the damage cap on golden gears like i don't really care <laughs> <I feel> like <laughs> early on i had that with star rail where i was like oh bigger numbers you know bigger gameplay and now i'm kind of like why <laughs> what does it matter? as long as i can yeah. get through the story and get through the trailblaze mission get the lore i'm good <laughs> yeah i yeah. think as i replace characters i realize like i didn't really need that because i'll probably just replace them in the future so um yeah i only recently started getting into like actually learning how to build characters and like the meta and things like that so it's just like i don't really care that much i've never really cared that much about meta so yeah I yeah um, this one's kind of interesting. Uh, these are a lot of these questions are community questions that we kind of uh, ask people if there was like things they wanted to hear us talk about. Um, someone had asked, is there uh, sometimes um, people have like a lot of pride in identifying your spending status in gotcha, like being a dolphin, whale, free to play player. Do you think these labels are healthy or contribute to these issues? I thought it was a really interesting question. Hmm. Um. I think it's a good thing to have in terms of like community building, mm -hmm. um, being aware, <laughs> just like, just like having other, I guess, other people to like relate with in any community is always going to be good. Yeah. Right? Um, almost every like main discord I've been in for like a character, there's always like a specified whale chat. I will say it's really cringe. <laughs> there's literally a lot of mm -hmm. main discords for Genshin where like they go like, okay, you're gonna have to screenshot your uh, C6s, how many really? R5s you have, yeah. and then we'll verify that you're a whale and then give you a whale tag. And then you can go into the whale channel. That shit is cringe, but like, you wow, know, for the most that's part- That's so crazy. Yeah, but Whoa. for the most part, it's like kind of, you know, it's nice to have some people to discuss like you know like free to play stuff you know there's it's nice to discuss whale stuff and i'm sure it'll mm. be nice for like people everyone between to have people like relatable to themselves that's really interesting i had no idea that 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 was something that i i don't join many discords so that's interesting any thoughts pokey over here Chilling. no i i think <laughs> i never i never thought of like this whole thing because that was interesting like you have to screenshot your status as like yeah. how much you spend and you have like limited access to chat rooms i, I actually never heard of this also that was that was quite interesting to to learn yeah that's kind of what i i meant by like people like take a lot of pride in like identifying their exact like spending status like uh i've seen it even in stream where people like um will be like wow you're such a whale and I, people get crazy about it sometimes um or even just like taking a lot of pride in being free to play and i think it can oh, be good yeah. and bad i think there can be good and bad sides the free to, to play it. pride is mm -hmm. a little crazy. yeah for too. sure there's a lot of toxic people when it comes yeah. to that but <laughs> like I, I do make sure so like sometimes when my finances aren't awful I like feel bad for the viewer I'm pulling for and I'm like oh fuck they like lost 50 50 they're like five pulls away 
and I like swipe for them, but then I always ask, I'm like, Aww. are you free to play? Like, are you sure yeah. you're you okay with this? this? Yeah, yeah. And I, I've had some people say no, like they, they don't want to because it's like, you know, it's, they, it, they want to stay free it's to play important to like them. That. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I actually stopped doing viewer polls because I would feel so awful because I lost so many. <laughs> I think like I had like an 80% losing streak. So I actually stopped doing it because it made me feel so terrible and I felt responsible for their bad gotcha luck. No, no, no. You just have to logic it like this. <laughs> when it goes well, it's your power. When it goes badly, it's, it's because fault. they did something wrong. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, true, true. It's the curse of Pokey. <laughs> that's crazy. Just catching straight. All right. What is it? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Boy. That's true. Um, I, I think kind of like having these distinctions, like, like you said, they can be good to have relating, like being able to relate to, but I think people have to be careful not to fall into this trap of um, that's their identity with these games. Um, it, it's fine if you really love a character, you wanna see six them and whatnot, but whenever you feel like that, I, I've had people had to actually in my community, they quit playing because um, people, they were like our first whale in our community and people were constantly tagging them like let me see your c6 like uh let me use your support what do you think of this character build and it put a lot of pressure on them as the whale of the mm. community that they kept feeling like they had to spend more and see six more characters and they actually eventually quit the game because the community put a lot of pressure on them uh for being the whale of the group that's honestly crazy. just mute the discord yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. I, feel, I feel like that's that's definitely something that could be avoidable yeah like, it definitely with a press can of a button <laughs> um but i think a lot of people put a lot of value in what like their social groups think of them so it's it's definitely like I a think, double sided yeah, thing i think in hoyoverse it's even worse because these games are like I, right like, i think we could all agree hoyoverse scotcha games are definitely made for a uh zero anxiety baby gamers <laughs> you know so it's like gamers, let's yeah go. It, like there's no real competition or competitive modes ladders anything like that and because of that it makes them not have much to compare each other with and mm -hmm. like group each mm -hmm. other with so they have to like focus more on like identifying themselves as like dolphins free to plays whales like that because that's like the really one of the few things they can even actually compare each other with right that's true oh yeah yeah mm-hmm mm -hmm. Um, well, what about the general? So, so Hoyo has been, I don't know about Genshin. So I, I don't know the history with Hoyo and Genshin and, and HI3, but with Star Rail, it seems like they've been pretty generous with like free pulls, currency, just a lot of content updates and stuff like that. Um, do you think like these gacha games, um, giving more accessibility to like free five stars or free pulls, more, more ways to obtain free currency, is that something um, that other companies should maybe consider doing, uh, especially to curb, either curb the addiction going into these games and ease the spending habits, or do you think it's more detrimental? MiHoYo is the least... Uh, oh, go for it. Go ahead. No, 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 I'll get you over it. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, I, I, mine's short. Mihoyo is like Mihoyo is like the uh, least generous gacha game or gacha company. Uh, okay, I was just about to say that. So you, you okay, okay. I, I can't say anything. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, but like, Hong Kong Star compared to like Genshin probably looks more generous, but like compared to like every other gacha game, it's it's really not, not. that generous. Hmm. Even like the pool mm -hmm. currency is like really really expensive in Mihoyo compared to a lot of the other gacha games. So it's not that. And I guess specifically for Hongai Star, I, I know there's this comparison for like Hongai Star gives a lot more common Genshin. But then again, Hongai Star also has more things to do in Genshin. So you kind of, mm -hmm. you know, like in Genshin, you can just, just chill and just clear like whatever and game. Mm -hmm. But Hongai Star, they're adding more and more and more. So you probably will feel the FOMO more in Hongai Star. And then maybe those freebies just go up, goes away more. So yeah. 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 Star Rail also pumps five stars so it's like yeah, mm. we're gonna they're giving it. you more Good currency God. yeah they're giving you more currency but they give you more characters you want to pull and so like as much as we all want to sit here and be like oh be logical be you know don't be financially irresponsible you know there's probably so many people that are you know 
getting that one or two losses on 50 50 and they just get tempted to swipe and yeah. it'll be just enough to put push them over the edge whereas like like uh poke said like genshin doesn't have really that much stuff to swipe for because mm -hmm. outside of characters you really want most i mean i think that's what most people in genshin swipe for because there's no real like new end gamer sure like abyss mm -hmm. is like abyss does have like slight power creep like mo bosses do get higher and higher hp but like for the most part it's nothing crazy you know uh, there's not more content to really do so like Genshin doesn't have that aspect. So like most people can just like focus on just saving on who they want. But Star Rail just keeps on giving more and yeah. more endgame modes where it's like, like, like you said earlier, it's gonna maybe make people feel forced. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And Honkai Third, because like Star Rail does give a lot. It's very free to play. Well, more free to play friendly than like Genshin. But I think, um, yeah, the another thing with that is that they have a lot more hair, like a lot more five stars to work on and stuff like that and then honkai third is very free to play friendly but also at the same time you have to pull for their uh relics instead of using your uh stamina to get it mm -hmm. so it's you have to pull for more things but at the same time you could still get like the whole character like they always do like a free s rank character um like every couple months so like right now like the last one was a uh, free a free hersher of sentience and now it's like the free hersher of uh, origin and they've done that like they do that like every couple months or so but i i don't i think honkai impact is uh generous but they have to be generous because that game power creeps like it does character, every, characters become weekly irrelevant. they mm -hmm. become irrelevant mm -hmm. like if you're using them like your memorial arena memory arena rankings are gonna plummet your mm. you know like you're gonna oh, drop yes. out of so it red from a or, issue. uh you know the higher rank nirvana i think it is mm -hmm. and so because they literally make characters just bricked uh and power creep was something that's like way stronger that's why they kind of give free give more yeah <laughs> yeah it, they, they essentially just like give away the uh older s ranks that like aren't meta anymore that yeah. way you'd like feel okay about not getting the meta s rank that just came out yeah, yeah. and, 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 uh, and the biggest like cringe thing with hoyoverse specifically this isn't like genshin star rail etc it's just hoyoverse in general they just mm -hmm. like they don't want to celebrate holidays for some reason every other gacha game i know christmas they'll give you free rolls like every yes. like i swear to god other gacha games make up holidays it's like oh my god <laughs> someone just Yay! We're His grandma just successfully walked across the street. Here's Let's celebrate and give everybody a 10 roll. Like, that's what other gacha games do. Hoyo versus, like, Christmas? Eh. What's what? that? Let's, let's, let's give them art on Twitter. That yes, that's shit. true. They, yeah, that's what like, they that's did. all they do. Yeah. I've never I mean, thought about reposting of, of, a, of an event, artist that's not even there. Yeah. You guys are yeah. giving me a crisis. I've never thought about it. Like in the last year of playing Hoyo or like Hoyo games, they really haven't. Wow. Yeah, so like everybody, I mean, everybody in Hoyoverse loves comparing HSR to Genshin. People need to like Compare. zoom out and mm -hmm. start comparing Hoyo to other gacha games. Because yeah, sure. Hoyoverse has nothing to gain by being generous because they're always already at the top. But mm -hmm. like, bro, they are so stingy. They are very stingy. Like other games celebrate 0.5 anniversaries. Hoyvers doesn't even yes. know what that is. <laughs> That's true, yeah. actually. I'm playing they literally all, playing all... Nike right now with the 0.5 anniversary. <laughs> all the budget and the freebies, they all went to the marketing, like the insane concerts and like the music. Those are like absolutely like, super, super over the top. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. That's why I always joke about like whenever Genshin has their like 500th orchestral like <laughs> performance, I'm like, that's where all my money went. Instead of getting <laughs> instead of getting quality of life, they hired another fucking orchestra. Yep. Fuck it, I guess. <laughs> Funny enough, I just watched the Star Rail concert like mm -hmm. yesterday, and it was it was crazy. God, I'm saving it. I haven't watched it yet. <laughs> Someone actually asked about something similar to that. They say Hoyo focuses a lot on heavily promoting the games with high budget, high quality outside content. Does this affect yeah. how you view their games? And what do you expect other gacha companies to do in this situation? Um, yeah, does fuck it them. Affect... I don't go outside. Yeah, like, <laughs> so, does, does I it hate affect them. <laughs> your view of like the game itself? Like with all this outside content? I like the animations and the like the YouTube stuff that they put out. I like the 
I guess little mini games sometimes. I I guess you can call it like mini games that they do like on Twitter and shit. Those are okay, I guess, but like the real life stuff, I'm like it's always in freaking California. True, yeah. But I, I do feel like kind of like that where a lot of the budgeting is going towards outside content that I wish we would just get more stuff in the game itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. so this like this is this is where I like harp about corporations are never doing anything for you really mm -hmm. it's like mihoyo is not doing these events because they want to give their fan bases freaking kafka stickers at a boba shop it's because <laughs> they know that there is a market of players that are not gamers gotcha gamers that will go to these boba shops and see hsr and be like oh what's this and download it that, yep, they're true. not doing it to give yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. It at is all marketing day. at the end. This is why Genshin and HSR, I, maybe HSR will collab with something because HSR's team seems to be a bit better. But mm -hmm. this is why Genshin literally has never collabed with anything. I, I'm not even going to talk, talk about Aloy because that was a deal for PlayStation oh, platform. That's not that's not really a, um, a collab. 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 Mm -hmm. um, all their other collabs are with fucking like Cadillac, Discovery Channel, Pizza Hut, KFC, like... Bro, none of these are, have anything to do with gamers, but it's because they just want to get into that market and like mm -hmm. get people outside. Try of that. to extend their audience. When yeah. I watched into that documentary, I was like, "This has absolutely nothing to do with Genshin. This yeah. is just a Genshin labeled documentary. What the fuck? Yeah, that was wild to me. So it, like, it all I, comes back to it all being marketing for just to try to get in some new demographics that they haven't reached yet. Yeah, um, and unfortunately, I think specifically Genshin. They don't feel like they I think Mihoyo feels like Genshin has saturated the entire gaming slash anime market and they have no desire to collab with any other game because every other game is smaller than them. So mm -hmm. like they, they wouldn't have nothing benefit to gain. from it. If anything, yeah. they it would be detrimental because then some of their players might hop They'll off play Genshin the other and play, other play the other That's one. Yeah. True. So they don't want to do that. Whereas That's like this is why I'm worried HSR might not either, because HSR is doing very well. I mm -hmm. think the better HSR a better a Hoyoverse game does the lower chance we have for a collab. This is why Honkai Impact has collabs. Mm -hmm. It's their worst performing game. Yes. Yeah. Nobody freaking plays it. It is my favorite game. Though. I tried, but man, it was hard to get over. It aged. It's not the age yeah. of it was rough. Like that UI can. It really shows that I'm really... a lore streamer. I <laughs> play for the lore. But yeah, that's at the end of the day, it's like literally all of these aspects. And like, I don't want to discourage people from enjoying aspects of these games because obviously the concerts are high quality. The music's great. And what you like about these games, um, that's not to say it's it's a bad thing by any means. But being mindful that at the end of the day, all these games are still just companies. Like they're being made by companies that want to make profit. They want to, they want an ever growing audience to keep making profit. Um and I think a lot of people get like, I, I've actually seen people get defensive whenever you try to kind of talk about the fact that at the end of the day, it's a corporation. Um, mm -hmm. There are a lot of like very passionate players that uh, don't want to think about that. <laughs> mm -hmm. So it's because they're 12 and they don't know how the real world works. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome yes. to the real world, kid. Yeah. So it, or they're sponsored and they're not allowed to say <laughs> that's true. Um, or that. That's pretty is yep. that's pretty common, right? To get sponsored and they don't want you to like really say any anything like I'm pretty sure you legally have to say. Yeah. That you're mm -hmm. sponsored. Yeah. Yeah. And then even I, mean, then, I don't, don't, I don't like think stipulations you're... like don't negatively talk about the game. Yeah, like I mean like I don't that. I think they're probably okay like doing like pros and cons, but not just like right out just like shitting on them or throwing them under the bus. I think they're like, you know, it's okay to say what's what we need to work on and stuff. Just don't shred us apart. <laughs> Which I think is okay. Just remember, guys, sometimes we get paid a lot of money to suck the balls of companies that we don't really care about. <laughs> so as long as it's as long as you're like speaking the truth for the most part and like downplaying it a little bit, maybe. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I, um, I will say this. I think uh, maybe I shouldn't say it. I was gonna say I've been in the Hoyo creators like program for a long time. Yeah. And I think I think it's because there's a lot of like, you know, young and new creators that they feel like they don't know to the extent at which they can, you know, be honest. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Without, you know, uh being detrimental to themselves. 
I yeah. think you could be a lot, you know, more honest than you think. You know, don't don't or don't uh, walk on eggshells all the time. Yeah, I, I I have noticed that that like a lot of creators that want to be sponsored are like almost fearful of giving their actual Being like real. criticism mm -hmm. of the game because they're like worried about a future sponsorship. Like, oh, if I say this, they're not ever going to sponsor me, sort of thing. Yeah. So I think that's not a good mindset to have, but. A little it detrimental. Yeah. I mean, yeah. at the end of the day, a lot of things can't be improved if you're not, if they're not receiving player feedback. And mm -hmm. if everything is just super happy, positive, like that's, that's, that is not good feedback. Like there has to mm -hmm. be people talking up about the criticisms and whatnot for anything to improve. So yeah, that's definitely true. I think creators do have a, a bit of a fear of towing the line of what they think might insult a company which yeah. at the end of the day, they probably don't care. <laughs> yeah. Unless you're just like straight up trashing. Like, obviously <laughs> you're not gonna, you're not, you shouldn't do that. But having, having reasonable criticisms and even not liking the design of something or design of characters or whatnot or being disappointed. Yeah. Oh my gosh. God forbid you don't like the design of a yeah. character. Oh, all of I Twitter know. is just up in flames. Crazy. So people need to grow up. Um, yeah, we've talked about a lot already. That's kind of crazy. Um, at the end of the day, it seems like, I, I don't know, if you have any other advice for users in these games, players in these games for being more responsible with their, with their spending and whatnot, I, I don't know, we've talked a lot about it already, so if there's anything else you can think of, um, or any advice or tidbits you can give. I would say know. if you're a young person in a gotcha community, Stop caring so much about fictional characters, please, for the love of God. And everything. We're spending. Nah, keep caring. Because mm. in a couple of years, AI is going to advance far enough where we can project them into our rooms and live with them. That's my waifu. I don't know if I'd want to do you that. You stay away from her. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know if she doesn't want of, you anyways. And a couple years after that, we'll have perfected humanoid robots and it'll, you know, it'll be even better. Exactly. Stop spending money now so that you can spend more money later on the expensive. <laughs> like, yes, on the, the real ones. Yes. The real Boom. life Robin. The real life characters. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, oh, this was, there was one more question. It was actually, I was not sure we want to talk about or not. Uh, it's kind of an interesting question. Do you guys feel like as content creators, it's your responsibility to uh, discourage people from spending as much or being addicted to these games or anything like having like like encouraging more responsibility um it's kind of a interesting I, question kind of i don't know my my thing is it's your life you're gonna do whatever you're gonna do mm -hmm. i'm not gonna say like you should spend money t for this. Mm -hmm. So I think, I don't know. I think, I don't think any creators are actually like saying stuff like that, mm -hmm. but. I think the question, the big question comes around, like since we do tend to have influence on our audiences and communities, where does the responsibility begin and end? True, yeah, yeah. I, they're, it's blurred. Yeah. I tell people not to swipe. Yeah. Like I, I use my all my bad luck and how much money I've spent into these games as a very good example as to what else you could have been doing with your life. Like I could have. You keep it real. With, with all the money I've spent in gotchas, I could actually probably fucking own a house, but I don't. I rent an apartment. <laughs> uh, yeah. So it's like I, I feel like if you kind of zoom out and really think, like there's no way I'd ever recommend. Like whenever I do like swipe a lot, I always like and whenever I like have any bit of bad luck, I definitely remind people like this shit is just casino with pixels. Just don't do it. it really it's not is. worth it. Yeah. And it's, it's gambling. At the end of the day, it is. There, it's gambling with an ending in sight, but then you start the cycle again. It's so, I mean, not even gambling because you're actually not even getting anything in return. You're yeah. literally not getting anything. Not gambling for much of value, to be honest. Yeah. So, I mean, most gambling, a PNG. You don't, most gambling, you don't, <laughs> you get, don't really anything get anything either. either. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it really yeah. is you at lose. the end of the day. It's gambling. So. To be fair, we're, we're from Oklahoma where it's legal. So yeah. Legal to what? To gamble. To gamble. Mm hmm. Oh, okay. yeah, casinos yeah. Here. I mean, yeah, there's mm -hmm. casinos here in Cali as well, but like, it's just, 
I, I, it's very weird. I love gacha games, but I've every time I've gone to a casino, it's just there's it doesn't do it for me. But maybe I feel just, so much better because like I also am so willing to spend on gacha games, but I cannot spend in a casino. Yeah, I think it's because there's no tits. It's, it's <laughs> that's it. <laughs> That's exactly it. <laughs> There's no thirst. I, it's different. I think people. I think it just has. It triggers a different mentality in your brain when it comes to these vi like gaming in general and real life gambling. I think There's it's just, no pity. It, it There's no pity hit, at a casino. It hits different centers in your brain, but at the end. No, of the there day, is a pity. There's a pity. <laughs> the hidden pity is like when you spend enough money, the casino starts giving you free drinks and rides. <laughs> oh That's the no! True pity. That's I'd take that. <laughs> I would. I would. I would take that actually. <laughs> Yeah, but um, at that point you're like millions of dollars down and like, uh -huh. <laughs> like okay, is that really what I'm here it? for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> yeah. 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 It is so predatory. I it it's is. Not good. I think I think at the end of the day, gotcha games. And like not to say I do I am glad there's these games that are accessible for, for people. They're good quality. They do have they do have good games. They're fun. But they do utilize really predatory systems and psychological tactics um that a lot of people fall prey to and a lot of people will say oh well just just be more disciplined just be you know just be smarter about it but there are literal departments dedicated to try to manipulate your mm -hmm. you as a consumer into overriding that and spending more so I yeah think, it doesn't uh, help that it's also like very targeted towards a younger group of demographic <laughs> kids yep young people how is it if, you... if it's not gacha that you're winning on then what else mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. there is nothing you know like what, what else could it like would the money just be not spent and then you could have like better financial security or would you just end up spending the money on another place because if that's going to be the case then gacha won't be the problem it would just exactly. be exactly like yeah, they'll be a lot spending it, it on to drugs and alcohol <laughs> instead or I, food right. and snacks you know that and was something i heard growing up and i don't know if that was true or not i could definitely learn financial responsibility uh for what i was wasting money on without being like oh they're just gonna spend it on drugs anyway no i wasn't yeah <laughs> yeah because um, that's always my like uh argument is like well i could have spent it on like alcohol and that's bad for me so you're lucky that i spent it on gotcha games yes the 2d waifus are are a better addiction <laughs> yeah you say that until the your gotcha game end of services and then you lose everything and yes and then you don't have an account <laughs> anymore it and it's just gone it's gone yeah. and then the drinking starts <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 maybe I try to not have an addiction <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it true. yeah. Have you just tried Bro, not? You, you play you're back on League of Legends. You can't be saying that. <laughs> okay, but it's you know, free though. It's a free I game. I played a lot of so League like, without spending bad. money on it. Time so. is not free. Okay, but then now in Gacha it's a like time and money. So that like, you know, yeah, that is, is true. That's true. But you've never bought skins in League? Oh, I bought them last time, but I haven't topped up like <laughs> Okay, last but you you did, you did. Last time. Now I'm like I'm just I'm I do not spend money on like, so different. Just, yeah, I mean, I'd spend money of. on cosmetics. <laughs> it's not pay to win, so I feel like just it's wait until they add cosmetics. Would and you spend right two hundred dollars on a skin? No, well, no. <laughs> well. I did. There's this. There's this <laughs> no. character called Jin, and they released this uh, dark cosmic, like legendary, new mythic level skin. Yeah. And it was like gotcha, where you, where you could get it early. I hard pitied that shit. It was two hundred dollars, oh and God, all it turned Bob. out was it was literally just a recolor. I got scammed. That's Damn. so depressing. That's like with the uh, yeah. what is that? Uh, the crazy. Valorant like uh, knives and stuff, or is that another game? I can't remember. This CS. This CS. CS. I think CS. CS. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. CS, CS is microtransaction market is oh, disgusting. Stuff. That's crazy. Like it's thousands of fun. dollars. It's fun. I spent like two k on uh, CS boxes. I got like a fat knife. And there's lots. Of I, I actually broke even. I actually broke back. even. <laughs> I sold all my CS skins and I broke even. So there are people hey. who literally had to file bankruptcy because they spent all their money uh, on on CS skill skins. Issue. <laughs> skill skill issue. Oh my god! On just and it's just a cosmetic, right? Mm -hmm. Like it's not like it doesn't have any it's extra. Not, no, it makes a, you it makes you play better. <laughs> <laughs> because added... you spent money yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, you no, no, no. Enemies with the five thousand dollar knife. Oh my true, god, he's so rich. Wait, no. Yeah. You be bought honest. your skill. 
Pokepro probably can uh, attest to this. Certain skins in League of Legends has better sounding auto effects that makes you see us yeah. better. Yeah. That's yeah, a little yeah, yeah. different, yeah. I feel. Okay, I remember like back then, I think they didn't have to ban eye blitzcrank because the hook, it was like, it's, it's visually smaller. So it's like mm -hmm. hard to dodge. Yeah. But it, the hitbox is exactly the same. There was like that in so, some yeah. shooter games too because it made Ooh. the, um, the, the scopes smaller and easier to see through. So some that has been a thing in skin uh, microtransactions. I can see that. Yeah. Yeah, I I definitely buy skins. Yeah, some skins in get Honkai banned and competitive for those reasons. So interestingly buy skins enough. On DK. They're fucking Yeah, they're beautiful. Hot. Yeah, I, I might start playing now. <laughs> they're expensive. Oh, it's like they're like fifty bucks. Yeah, it's like fifty or sixty to guarantee. And I'm that's, like that's wait, is it got okay, yeah, that's gotcha. that's what Honka Honka is yeah. too. Fuck that. Yeah. Or B chips where you just buy hey, at it. least they give us skins. Fucking Hoyoverse. What is this? One year of no skin on HSR? Why do they not do it? I'm yeah, surprised it doesn't because make they sense. would make it's them so much money. money. Yeah. It's free. Very it's literally easily. free. They literally have the March 7 skin and they can just like, do something else. It's so free. I don't yeah. understand why they didn't. They've even like had it in the game. Like I'm yeah, it's so it's right there. I mean a lot of the artwork <laughs> they keep teasing with like different official artworks, and it's like fuck. And, uh, I'm kind of glad they I don't because I might actually really? spend more money. I mean, yeah, Hoyo's right. <laughs> so big headed. They're like, they don't even want our money anymore. <laughs> they're like, they're like nah, nah, we're good. We don't need to. That's just extra work. Yeah. No, they're just saving it for like a rainy day. It's like, oh shit, our stocks are, you know, not okay. No stocks because they're not public, but like, you know, our, uh, our revenue is a little down. Let's release some skins. <laughs> uh huh. Yup. Yeah, maybe they're saving it for a rainy day when things just get rough. I don't know. Yeah, because like even with the, I don't really keep up with Genshin, but I've been watching all the Arlo Chino videos and stuff, and I'm like, oh my god, that's a sick outfit. And then you look at what she looks like in game, and it's like, oh, that's what it looks like. Yeah. Okay, well, they could have given her the cool outfit, but no, they didn't. I mean, I think she still looks nice, but oh yeah, yeah she still is really good. Just, but that one her outfit, her outfit was so nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Genshin's mm. <sighs> been out for. Freaking ever, and we have like what a couple. I think there's couple like outfits. fucking ten skins or something. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Well, we need some in Star Rail for sure. The March, no, we and don't. then. No, we don't. I don't want to spend any more money. <laughs> no, they're giving us skins. It's different Trailblazers. Oh God. Uh, oh yeah. Great. Oh, wait, they, they, they did hint there for March seventh though. They yeah, literally the, said it in the. The system that she's gonna have. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Maybe. Yeah, that's crazy. One point, it's gonna be like one point five years for one skin. Yeah, it will be. God, true. <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, I think that I it pretty much covers most of what the questions were that we had. But um. Yeah. At the end of the day, guys, I I don't. There's. It's hard to like give advice and like tell you guys how to manage your expectations with these games a lot of it is just coming down to stop humanizing these companies man they don't care about you they just care about your money um you've got to do what's best for you you have to these games prey on you as a consumer they they know you want it they know that they got you with the fomo like you just have to be aware i think at the end of the day and uh try to make the right decision for yourself so, mm -hmm. yeah, the gacha games are predatory. Mm -hmm. Yeah, capitalism, baby. Yep. I just repeat in my head constantly. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. <laughs> and then every now and then I'm like, I need it. <laughs> yep. Play that League. Fifty-fifty. Just be yeah. like, okay, that's, that's okay. Pokey's advice fine. for all of it is just go play League. You won't want to anymore. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> just go play. Yeah, go play League. <laughs> Go play league. Man, I'm gonna go look at my league account, see how many skins I have on there, because I don't think that advice would work for me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, don't spend and uh don't force your head cannons on people. Mm -hmm. My advice. Gotcha Obi has been wanting to talk about that, honestly. <laughs> I have. I've been screaming about it forever. Holy shit. I don't oh, know enough. I, I feel like I feel like people shouldn't be afraid to talk about controversial topics as long as it's a discussion rather than like, if, even if you're not argument. knowledgeable, yeah. even if you're not knowledgeable, I think having a discussion is fine because then you can learn from it or That's other true. people mm -hmm. can learn That's from true. it. So like, mm -hmm. it's why I actually have like 
I talk about topics that I don't really know too much of because then I can learn from it and like, you know, because I as long as I don't have like a hard stance, mm -hmm. right, I can go into it with an open mind and then figure out my stance from there. So yeah, um, yeah, same. We have we are getting over to what we expected for like the 1.5 hours. It's up to you guys if you want to talk a little bit more um, or if you have the time. I know it's late for Pokey. Um, yeah, we should let, we should nah, let Pokey go to sleep. All good. Um, it's really up to you guys. Yeah. Um, but if we want to take a minute, we can talk about it. It's up to you. If you have the time. I'm down for anything. You guys, you guys just can yap talk some more. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. If you want. Um, yeah, so for those of you unaware, just a bit of controversy on social media um, relating to identity with characters, parts, specifically sexual identity with characters. And um, it has to do with like uh, sexual identity coding in characters where um maybe there is what is assumed a association with flag colors like with robin um or i i guess like the other issues are not issues but the other like associations were with um i can't remember it was mostly the the color under the eye and mm -hmm. then and she so she's like According according to uh, Twitter, she is based on a poem or something. Oh, that's the... right. The song that she sings. Um, yeah. Stop another one. One more heart from breaking is by what Emily Dixon, who is assumed to have been uh, either it's it's not a, confirmed, a, but assumed to have been poet. either a bisexual uh, or gay. So mm -hmm. by taking those kinds of um, factors into the character. Uh, a lot of people are thinking that Robin is is a lesbian, and I uh, I I think one a thing that for me that I've noted is that there's no implied like I, in the game itself there are no relationships thus far, um, and there's definitely no no sexual <laughs> indication of relationships. So please keep that in mind. But um, mm -hmm. a lot of it the controversy and, and topic I guess conversation stems around head cannons for. Uh, characters uh, and what you think a character may be in identity or whatnot so yeah so like in Honkai third there is a lot of like implications that the like main characters are gay and like it's fairly canon but at the same time everyone's like it, it, always shipping other characters and all mm -hmm. kinds of stuff. The whole shipping thing is just so stupid brain rot to like force on other people. Like I think shipping is fine and head cannoning is completely okay. As long as you don't force it on other people or police what other people are doing and or saying about a character. That's mm -hmm. when it becomes cringe as fuck. Like... You could let people say whatever they want to say about characters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I think you know when not just gotcha games, just anything. Yeah, you know, um, people can like and believe or whatever they want. It doesn't really matter. I mean, it's a free world, right? Uh, there's no thought police, <laughs> I guess. Yes. Um, yeah. and <laughs> so people shouldn't try to thought police other people. <laughs> is uh, my take. Yeah. Uh, let's let people just enjoy whatever they want and it's just that's just it right like mm -hmm. don't need to argue on twitter but it is twitter and the issue with twitter i think like i think people need to stop taking twitter so seriously mm -hmm. like yeah. it is I, not I a platform for discussion mm -hmm. yeah it's a platform for fucking just shit posting. yelling into the void <laughs> yeah and just shit posting, shit posting. Yeah. screaming yeah. opinions oh. rage baiting <laughs> yeah yeah because like i feel like that has always been a thing with media is head cannoning and shipping and all kinds of stuff it's just more of a rampant toxicity with like twitter being as popular as it is and stuff mm -hmm. but even then i think i think even with like the robin case i think it's probably just a very vocal minority it's like mm -hmm. not not the large audience right i don't think oh, yeah. vast, i i don't even That's think true. the vast majority of the lgbtq community would even agree with how like aggressive some people are being yeah. One hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. It's it's but always. Like I also that with... like women, and like, yeah. it, I feel like, it, bro, it's... she's hot. Just let just let people think she's hot. Jesus. I feel like, like a, a lot of what gets blown up tends to be uh, instigated from very small 
uh, pockets of communities. And that's just how social media works, to be honest. Um, mm -hmm. Everyone it's else is just in their own world and enjoying shit. Small it's not communities on social are so media gatekeeping. talking about it. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. We're just vibing. Well, you games are also <laughs> very, like, notorious for being, for having, like, niche communities that are super gatekeepy. And it's just, like, chill. Um, Please. I will say one thing that happened with it is that I don't like, and, you know, I think you can have criticisms of other creators and, and social media and how they use it um, without disliking those creators or starting anything with them. I don't appreciate and don't like the rage baiting and instigation that happens intentionally. Um, that's something I've never been comfortable with. Uh, I personally uh, think, I, I get that uh, it's, you know, rage baiting, it is what it is. It gets interaction, it gets monetized. I know it's a popular it is funny. thing. <laughs> I know it's entertaining. I know people love it. Don't get me wrong. I know where the value is for it, but it's something I have always been uncomfortable seeing and uncomfortable consuming. So for me, that's just kind of something where I'm like, man, really, do we have to do this? Um, mm -hmm. But I mean, I don't. Unfortunately, <laughs> yeah. Twitter is, that is, Twitter in a nutshell it is interaction <laughs> farming it is. and yeah. so like I, I I don't really blame anyone for doing it because it's just how Twitter works yeah right that mm -hmm. is the best way to interaction farm and yeah like it's like it's like I could get mad at clickbaiters but mm -hmm. on YouTube but like it, it's that's I how it works really, how yeah it works. I can't yeah. really be mad <laughs> and like, just, I can simultaneously you know? yeah accept that that is how it is and also just yeah. be like damn it I I, don't, I just try not to engage with it myself because it's something I, I particularly don't enjoy so and I think that's how yeah. these things should be handled if it's something that is uh something you don't agree with or um don't enjoy you know either maturely speaking up about it or not engaging with it is the right way to handle any of these issues so mm -hmm. i think it for is me oh go, go ahead. ahead oh yeah uh, I, I, th I think it's oh go ahead <laughs> i'm just gonna, okay, I'm just gonna go, 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 go. Oh, okay. i think it's i i think it's you know uh as much as as much as you know i might not like um click baiters on youtube or like you know you might not like rage baiters i think that's the beauty of you know, free speech. Yeah, like, it is nice to see people who are level headed. It's nice to see people who are instigators. It's nice to see people who are stupid, smart, <laughs> etc. That's yeah. the beauty of society. And I, I don't mind. I don't mind it. I like yeah. it. <laughs> That's almost yeah. what I was going to say. I'm like, I, I have a job. That, uh, so like, I, I go out in the real world every day. Like I have to go grocery shopping. I had to like talk to neighbors and shit about stuff. And like, I have to talk to regular, the general public. So like, sometimes I do like to just get on Twitter and see the stupidity of people. And then I feel a lot better about my own life. You can't just, you can't just make other people's stupidity about making you feel better. Oofy. Well, <laughs> That is, that's no, how it I'm works just kidding. Sometimes. I do it too. Sometimes like, I touch too Matt, much you grass. you make me feel so And normal. I need to see, yeah. I... <laughs> yeah, definitely... Sometimes I need it because I touch um, too much grass. So, so. Going, going back to what we were talking about, though, I, I do think it is important to recognize one thing with it all. And um, obviously a lot of it was about drama and rage baiting and just fighting and nonsensical arguing and taking things too seriously. But um, it's only been in the recent, like, half decade really where people are starting to explore identity and i think a lot of people especially in these games are are very much seeking um representation of themselves in gaming in media in content and whatnot so i think that's where a lot of the sensitivity stem from and for me personally i think it's important to um maintain empathy for that as as someone who is straight who's white straight you know has has had representation in these games for quite some time. Um, I need to, I, I try to take it upon myself to have empathy for um, the fact that people are trying to seek representation and see themselves in these games and see things that do represent them. So I just try to have empathy for that because it's not something I've had to worry about. And I know it is something that is important for people. So um, yeah, I get that too. But also at the same time, like, <laughs> there's also plenty of like for that mm -hmm. media and with the honkai star rail being like a chinese game and yeah. it is all the hoyo games being chinese and they're like very not 
open about that sort of thing. I don't think putting your validity in yourself into other characters, like being a mm -hmm. lesbian. Like, if this character is not a lesbian, you does that mean I'm your not a lesbian? For sure. Yeah. Yeah. You've got to, yeah. you have to pick and choose your battles and recognize that all situations are not the same, especially coming mm -hmm. from Hoyoverse. Um, but yes, definitely. But that's all I really have to say about it myself. Because that, that was just where I stood on most of it. Um, it is important to not put your entire validity in seeking that in gaming. You, you have to grow a strong self-identity that is rooted in reality. You just It, yeah. it is so important to your mental well-being. At the end of the day, they are just PNGs. <laughs> yeah, at the end of the day, they're just games. So They're not real. <laughs> but <laughs> that's all I have to say about it. I don't know if that helps. <laughs> Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I don't have any more to say. On we should, we should yeah. probably, we should probably let Poki this, go to sleep. No, yeah. no, no. Just, no, this drama has just been going on for so long. It's, it's just kind of crazy how this can go on for so long. It's yeah. Because it's such a, in my opinion, it's a pretty nut, big nothing burger compared to like way bigger things out there. But yeah. For real. Yeah, it's been a long for week. For real. <laughs> I haven't really been on social because every time it's just like more, more and more, and I'm like, eh, I'm gonna go back to life. Mm -hmm. There's so much the more important people. things. Because mm -hmm. I'm following uh, Tech Tone. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I follow Tech Tone. I follow <laughs> like 3,000 like artists. If I just go to my Same. home, it's just, it's just titties, bro. I don't see. <laughs> oh my God. Anywhere. True. Oh my you God. just got to follow more titty artists, you guys. Yeah, yeah. Yes. That is oh true. A lot of it is I just follow content creators mostly. So whenever discourse <laughs> gets going, that's all I see. I need to follow more interests and artists. For sure, yeah. Yeah, if you follow like enough artists, like you'll see discourse, but then right under it, you'll see titties. So like you'll pass. Oh, it's discourse. great! Like yo, it's so great. <laughs> yo, of all so many artists. <laughs> That's crazy. I have a, I have a, per, I have a personal like goal where it's like I have a, it's like a Pokédex, and I'm trying to fill it all, and I'm trying, trying to, to collect get, like, them all. I'm trying to get yeah, and I'm trying to get enough follow backs from all these artists too. And whenever I get one, I'm like, oh, it's like I got a shiny Pokemon. It's like let's yes. go. <laughs> Yeah. That's cute. I like it's, that. Wait, what does your girlfriend think about your your gooning activities? <laughs> I mean, I get weird looks, but you know, it's all fictional, right? <laughs> right. It's not okay. real. Oh, so yeah. it doesn't matter. <laughs> all right. I mean, I mean, as long as she's happy with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, as long as you know, like you just you just need to find the right right one. Yeah, the, <laughs> the couples who goon together stay together. Come on now. Uh, Definitely goon doesn't together. goon together, but you know, <laughs> let's it, let's it pass. <laughs> hey, I mean, do gosh. you see my background, bro? Like, <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely <laughs> lets it pass. I got like five more figurines on bo or in boxes over there as well. That's so funny. Yeah, my husband's got so many like Coomer anime waifus all over his room. It's so funny. See, they goon I have together. Some. They're just not visible. <laughs> I like it. Um, all right. I, I think we have had a pretty good discussions today. I, I think we've gotten through some pretty fun times in these two hours. <laughs> uh, we will yeah. let you guys continue on into the gotcha world. I know Pokey's doing a subathon right now. I hope it's been going well. Yeah, thank you. Awesome. Thank you so much. I stopped in yeah. the other day and you were doing like, the, I don't know if you were doing it, but there was some like sexy girl ASMR going on. Oh, no. <laughs> It was not me. It was legit just on Spotify. Like I was rushing home from gym because I like, house kitchen stops playing. So I just brought because Spotify can link to your PC on your phone, right? So I just changed to like play from a PC and just random ASMR and like, yeah. What yeah, the why is was... it on your Spotify, bro? No, I, I legit searched because I could control Spotify from my phone. So I just want to play something on Spotify. He, he Spotify. just played the last listen to thing. It was something. No, I, I specifically searched ASMR because I know my chair wanted it. So, so mm -hmm. I'll it. Yeah. Likely story. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It was yeah. his own private playlist. For a moment there, I thought you were like voice changer and going all in on it. I was like, <laughs> it was okay, actually I, I, was like, I respect the commitment. <laughs> it was him. Oh, <laughs> yeah. it was damn. <laughs> it was intense. It was um, but yeah, and then, uh, yeah, if you guys have anything going on with your content that you want everyone to know about, let us, you know, you can shout it out. I know you're doing the subathon, your first ever, right? Is that what it yeah. was? Yeah. Yeah, first ever, and then just see where things go. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. How long have you been live? 
Um, I don't know, man. It's been. I think today is currently day three, and tomorrow is day four. So it's pretty. I'll early. never be so free. Far, so good. I'll never be free. <laughs> <laughs> um, Chat. Don't let him. Don't don't, don't let him, him be ever. free. Yes. Don't free him Keep ever. Him forever. Don't this unleash him, for him upon the, the world. Keep him oh contained. <laughs> Yippee. Yippee. Oh, um, seven. <laughs> Bob, you have anything going on lately with your content or anything you're looking forward to? Nah, I'm doing the same shit. Chilling. <laughs> yeah, I'm just chilling. And that's um, always waiting, good too. Waiting for watering waves and that's yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Chilling and waiting for watering waves. I think a lot of people are doing that. So yeah, okay, weathering cool. waves, waiting room. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining us today. We very much appreciate coming and talking with us about all of this and hanging out with us and dealing with yep. us. So thank you Yay. for the invite. Thanks for joining. Thank I, we you. will let you thank guys you so get going. We are going to do our outro real quick. Um, thank you guys for tuning in to our episode of Max Pity. We hope you enjoyed your time with us. Uh, and once again, thank you, Pokey and Fav, for joining us. Be sure to check them out. Show them some support. Uh, don't unleash Pokey on, on, onto the world for quite some time. Keep him there forever. So support his subathon. And yes, remember to check us out on YouTube and social media at Max Pity Podcast. Keep up with our gotcha episodes. Good luck with all your roles, everyone. And spend responsibly. Be good. Yes. yes. Bye, guys. Take care, Bye. everyone. Bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>